Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, today we're continuing the uh, the work on the ultra lazy marathon death world. Hello, Sistox. Welcome back. Perfect for the last night shift. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's get back to it. So last time. We left on a bit of a cliffhanger. I was just talking about how this wasn't. This was the only thing remaining that isn't covered by flamethrower turrets. And then, just as I was saying that, we had an attack here. Um, that wasn't on the recording, but it was on the stream. Um, yeah, so this is what we would like uh, just having the robots fix everything, just like that. Um, so, we're gonna need to beef this up a bit. Um, but let's see, we have quite a lot of robot ports now, so we can start actually expanding our territory and um, connect all these up into one contiguous um, thing. I could also do like individual areas, but as you can see, you know, having separated robot networks makes it so that you do have to spend a lot more effort making sure you have all the kinds of uh, materials and uh, resources and everything in all of them, uh, which takes a lot of time to set up. So I think I would rather just have one enormous uh, robot network for the entire base. That's usually how I, how I do it. Um, so I don't have to think so much about it. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that t this time as well. And these are not connect connected to oil. This one is, okay, but well this one's not. Okay, we do have pipes here, good. Anything else? Ah, looking pretty good. Do I have... Oh, I don't have a rope for it there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so let's think about this. I um, guess I'm just going to expand this. Actually, no, it no, it won't fit here. I was thinking maybe I should do... Uh, uh, last time I made a blueprint that I could just easily uh, expand borders with, uh, which uh, was essentially one robo roboport cell surrounded with walls and flamethrowers. And I was thinking I could make that and put that down here, but it's not really going to work very well with the, with the water around here. So instead, let's just take this and just do something with it. So I have robot coverage all the way out there, okay. So let's go to around here then. Actually, I will take this one. Let's just put it like that. Bring the oil in from here. Don't really need the gun turret anymore. And that is the inner wall. Let's actually remove that and just build the outer one. Can make a copy of this and make it a bit more lightweight. I'm thinking uh, I also might want this to be symmetrical, just to make it a bit easier to work with. Is this any good? Is a question. It 
It is a lot of pipes, but I think it's fine. Expand the rubber ports as well. And then let's also prepare a deconstruction planner that can do all of these things just to easily clean things up. to leave robot ports and power poles. Uh, let's also put in gun turrets in there just in case. So then I can use that to clean this up, except I actually need to keep the pipes. I also need a radar. So that I can actually see what I'm doing here. So while I wait for that, I am going to design that kind of repeatable um, robot um, flamethrower creeping um, thing that I was talking about. So I think we can do it here. Do I have a robot port in my inventory? I do not, so let's pick one up from there. Okay, so this is going to be the unit. And we're going to need walls way out here. Okay, so that's there. Okay, so that is one RoboPort cell. Meaning if I repeat this I will get double walls. Hello Nox, welcome back. And so, now we need flamethrowers in there. Uh, so let's see, what was the spacing? Okay, so that's the spacing for that. If I want to keep it away from spitters. Keep the pipes in the middle to... to avoid issues with splash damage. And then let's also... Put a few more walls in here. Let's put one there. And like that. And let's see how this is doing. Okay, this is done. So now we can continue. Oh, and now the force is burning. <laughs> So we can continue expanding this this way. I'm going to remove these from the hot bar and put in this one instead. That's more of what I'm what I need right now. Okay, so we'll just put that all the way out here. Uh, actually, maybe I'll just expand the robot coverage so that I can properly just cover this up. If this robot gets destroyed, that's okay. Uh, okay, so this... Let's put one more there. 
And these are going to be very much in the danger zone. But that is okay, because these are what I'm going to be using to actually advance on the biters. So we'll put a few more of those. Like there, maybe. It's quite hard to see <laughs> the ghosts here. Maybe I can move... Oh yeah, here's going to be easier. That is much better. Same thing there, and... Also need pipes facing this way. Probably. Maybe this should be connected slightly differently. Oh yeah, this should be connected very differently. These are way too many pipes, actually. I should just be using something like this instead. And this does mean I am connecting them in series, but... Oh, whoops. Okay, it's just the walls at least. Uh, but let's move outside the robot coverage. So th this does mean that I'm connecting the flamethrowers in series. But I'm going to have so many of these connections that uh, that shouldn't be an issue. Maybe now actually I should make these a bit differently as well. Can have this one there. And I can put this slightly further forward. Okay, let's keep it there so I don't need more pipes. Probably actually want it to be like this instead. can redo this again. Yeah, let's do it like that. And down here I'm gonna want a f one facing each direction, I think. Which means... Like that. that and then this needs to move out I think that's looking okay the question. I do need a power pole in here. And it would be nice to have a squeeze a radar in somewhere as well. Maybe I actually put it something like this instead. Because that is the maximum distance between two power poles. Okay, so that is the maximum symmetric difference or distance. So I could put them in these corners actually. Then I need one in here. Is this I 
let's just put it like that. Yeah, let's expand these by a little bit. The question is how we want to connect these to the middle. Let's just move this down, I suppose. Like that. Yeah, this looks okay. Think so this will be okay. So let's see, do I need some facing uh, like this way, maybe? Because I'm not really covering the inside right now, am I? Okay, this actually does cover most of the neighboring cell, if I put it like that. So, what about the power connections? So you need one each direction, probably. Is that close enough? That is exactly close enough. Okay. No, is there space for radar somewhere? No, not really. Unless I put it here. Can do that. Yeah, that'll be fine. I would like this to be rotationally symmetric, but not really a big deal if it isn't. At least it won't interfere with itself if I if I rotate it. Oh. Except one of these is wrong? Or is it just the rotation of the pipe? Something is different about one of those pipes. Or some of the pipes. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, this looks fine. That's, that's going to be the Burninator 9000, as I called it last time. Uh, okay, so this is done. Actually, now let's use these blueprints. Again, I don't really need the gun turrets. Let's get rid of the gun turrets from here. And connect the oil. Oh, we're low on a copper. In here. 
Let's see why that is. That is because we only have one yellow belt of input. Let's fix that, I suppose. Yeah, this is the issue with this kind of thing, that I, you need to have more of the flamethrowers covering each other. Oh, whoops, something's wrong here. Anyway, this should fix itself as soon as uh, all the things are placed. Not going to worry too much about it. Oh wow, just been a reach here. Uh, do we have? We have some walls there, okay. And we, oh, we don't have robot coverage up there. Let's go fix that then. So we need to... Oh, I didn't bring the robot port. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, let's go fetch the robot port then. Okay, now these should start up. There we go. And this should fix up the rest. Except this one is still gonna be alive. So let's place another turret there. I hope someone comes to repair this. <laughs> Before it falls. Okay, ten more attacks. Alright, we're gonna lose it. That's fine. Now you die. Uh, let's see, robots. Let's bump this up to one hundred. Why not? And we go back there. And this is finished. Okay, we have plenty of repair packs, it's good. So now we can drop a few robots in here. Place some more coverage. Four hundred and eighty six walls. That's slightly more than there is here. Ok, 
Okay, now we can go back. Yeah, this is finishing. This looks like it's outside RoboBot coverage, so let's just not build that. Let's get rid of the rest of these trees. And those. And let's clean that up. Okay, so now we should be f completely safe here. This is gonna basically gonna be safe against anything but like behemoth spiders, and even those are going to struggle with this. Unless there's a lot of them. So now I also need this to tile nicely. So let's see. I think I want to expand this direction first to claim, m most importantly, this iron. Uh, but then we'll see where we go from there. That also gives me the stone and the coal. Also this stone. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It also helps close this area so that I don't have a convex or concave territory. Because concave uh, robot networks means the robots fly outside of it sometimes and that's annoying to say the least. Um, let's start here I guess. Get rid of these belts. Yeah, let's just do that. Then I need to connect to this oil. And I also need to connect the robot networks. So one robot port there should be enough for that. I guess I should also return some of these robots to uh, to here. Maybe I should start making landfills somewhere as well. But we'll start here. So now this should dispatch a bunch of robots. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought I was low on power, but it was just the uh, roboport not being charged up yet. How much wood do I have now? 2,000. Maybe I should set up a chest for burning wood. So I did build this. That will recycle wood into power poles if I need to. Actually, no, I'll wait and do that when I have more robots. I should move um, uh, walls and turrets and things closer to the frontier now. So I need one for lane throwers. One for pipes. One for underground pipes. One for power poles, one for roboports, one for storage chests, actually, one for what else? Walls, and one for radars. That might be all I need. 
So I'm just going to place those in here. And then move a bunch of things into them. You can get rid of all this. Oh yeah. I guess I should make cliff explosives as well. I don't really need it right at this moment, but I also suppose it's not a lot to set up. Uh, let's see, where are they? They are there. They need explosives, barrels and grenades. Explosives are just cold soil for water. We have all of that here. Sulfur is down there, coal is up here. Let's bring the coal down, I think. Let's get rid of this walkway belt. I think I actually need to do this. And I can just use this sulfur. Because I don't need a high, like, sustained throughput of this. That will make explosives. Cold sulfur water, and I have all of that here. Do I have a camp plant? No, okay. Need to order one then. Um. So that will make explosives and then we will make Barrels, they need steel plates. Do we, we, have, we have steel plates there? Because that works. It's only steel, right? Only steel. And then this will make... oh yeah, I also need grenades. So grenades are iron and coal. We have iron there. Explosives. And then we need grenade, cliff explosive, and barrel. Barrel there, cliff explosive there, and grenade there. This should do nicely. And then we make those as long as we have less than, say, 200. need to copy this recipe over there. Hmm. 
Now this should start working. Okay, this is done. That means we can continue doing this. Uh, right, I also need to move things over there. So let's see, we have... Do we have power poles somewhere around here? We do have one power pole there. Let's move these. Let's also move those. What else? We need some more walls. I think I have some down here somewhere. Maybe. Not really, it seems. Where did I actually... Oh yeah, this is the main storage area. Okay. I'm gonna need to move flamethrowers. Where do I have those? See where those are going. They okay, they are going in the right there. That's perfect. Robots as well are going there. It's great. Let's move this. Also need some of those. And those. And some pipes. And some walls. Let's do the walls last, I think. Okay, so underground pipes are coming. How many do I have here, actually? It's 56 per each. I'm also going to make a slightly more aggressive uh, turret configuration. Actually, let's make this a bit more like this. That is going to be useful for attacking. Let's see how that connects to this. Okay. So if I were to place one like that... I will need some underground pipes there, I think. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that connects. And then up here I can just connect it to something like that as well. Okay. So put that into the library as well. Yeah, let's keep it like that. And put that on the hot part as well. And uh, let's see, what else do we need here? We need pipes, we need walls. Where are pipes? Did I put a... Oh yeah, I have this, okay. Hmm. That 
let's make that Make that one of these tests instead then. So now we're getting 130 pipes there. It's a good enough start, but not a lot. Okay, how many rows do we have? 400, so we can move a few walls. So this blueprint that I made here is useful for stuff like this. Actually, I think, yeah, all the robots are occupied right now. So that's not really going to work right now. Let's see how many walls are incoming. 200. And this uses... 300 of them, wow. Almost 400. I guess I have now is that I will be building half of it first and then the the other half when when the robot comes in. That is not ideal, I guess. I think it'll be fine though. Oh, well, I hope it'll be fine. We'll see. Let's see how many we have here. We have. 200 and 300 more incoming. I'm going to need a few more. Still have every robot occupied. Uh, because we don't have any copper, because... We have... Oh, I didn't upgrade all of this. This is a good enough start. So now let's let the robots settle down. Maybe we can deal with this as well. flamethrowers here to delay those robots because enemies don't really care about pipes but they do very much care about flamethrowers so if if the if I place the flamethrowers first 
and then one robot comes and plays this pipe, then the splash damage is going to destroy that pipe, and then it's going to take forever for uh, for that pipe to actually get placed, or for the entire pipe line to be placed, so the flamethrower can get any fuel. But if you do this, then the, the robots will place the pipes first, and then place the flamethrowers afterwards. Which means that as soon as the flamethrowers are placed, they can start firing right away. Why am I pushing that southeast base? Mostly because it's close. <laughs> That's really the main difference, <laughs> the main reason. Oh, I left this, it seems. Now let's see, uh, we have 600 robots available. Do we have... okay, we do have a bunch of glyph explosives too. It's nice. So now, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't actually connect these between cells. So I'm gonna have to add that as well. Uh, let's see. Let's have the same connection there. Let's see. Replace that somewhere where I can... Okay, this works. Now uh, let's see. I need... That. That should connect everything. Let's just see that it's symmetrical. And it is. So let's make sure we have all of those connections here. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why it's nice to have many connections, because some of them can get broken like this and some of them will still connect. Oh, we missed it. <laughs> That's too bad. Oh, this isn't connected? Oh, it is, but it's charging slowly, okay. Here come the walls. Let's see how much we have remaining here. 80, 100. We have no underground pipes at all. We're going to need to move a few more of those. Okay, now we have some more copper here. That's great.
Is there a way to automatically place landfill it needs for a blueprint? Not in vanilla. I would I wouldn't be surprised at all if there's a mod to do that, but it's not possible in vanilla. What's doing? 200 available. Should upgrade this assembler because that's gonna need. I'm gonna need a lot of those and this one as well. So I guess since I'm low on copper, I should just put uh, productivity modules in these as well. Should have a few of those stored up now, I believe. Okay, not a lot, but some at least. It's a shame to have to deconstruct these that have made 24,000 components or products. But it is, it is the way it is. Let's also put this in the red circuit one. Should have enough for another segment, yeah. Except not quite enough walls. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have any walls because I don't have any stone anymore, right. Well, I have a tiny trickle of stone here. So let's actually go for this one first of all. <laughs> Make sure that I can continue making walls. I guess I can recycle a few walls from around the base, like these for example. Although these might be good to keep, just in case. Just have some layer defense. Anyway, let's continue this way. And this is going to start doing damage to this base. See, so yeah, this is what you can get when you have the storage chests very close to where you need to build things. Just everything arrives at once like this. And especially for combat like this, that makes it a lot more reliable. Uh, so let's get some cliff explosives up to the front as well. Yeah, this is flame turret creeping. And it's something I discovered in my previous successful attempt at this. And it's actually surprisingly effective. You do need, do need to be careful that you have things close to the front, like I've been talking about. But if you do, then it's it works really well. Let's move 
the um, storage chests forward. It also, of course, helps if you have lots and lots of robots in the network. Flame and Creep in the Frontier's extended run, but my title, Pileable Burninator 9000, is way better than what you did. Oh, thank you. Flame and Creep is messy, yeah. Okay, the chests are there. We have robots available, so let's move this forward. Let's also show the robots on the map. This is another reason why Flame Trade Creep is so effective, that it's surprisingly easy to have way more light oil than you could ever need. Essentially, as long as you're consuming plastic, you it's very hard to run out of light oil. And of course, these circuits, uh, like prioritizing the flow, also helps with that, of course. Making sure sure that I don't crack the light oil down into petroleum when I need more light oil than I need petroleum. Okay, things are happening here. Maybe it's time to push this forward a bit more. Let's see, are the robots available? Mm, yeah, there should be enough to do this. Yeah, look at that. Just plonk and and well, I guess everything relies on these now. That's not great, but okay, there we go. And it's not a big deal if some of these gets destroyed. As long as they take out the spawners, that's all you really need. Now I am within aggro range though, so I'm going to need to take these up, or they're just going to continue taking damage forever. So, let's see, do we have walls anywhere? Looks like we're pretty much out of walls. Now we have a few over here, yeah, these are all the walls I have. But well, now I have this secured. Mm, okay, these are going out to fetch walls. So once they have those... Um, once they have the walls moved over here, we can place one more tile of this and then start mining this stone. So we can also take some of this down. Let's see, what is the distance I need? Okay, it's it's the outer wall.
I hadn't actually noticed that the Alt key toggles all of those overlays in this view. That's good to know. Oh, it's 10 explosives for each of those. Well, that's a lot. I don't think I need more of these, as long as I just build up a big enough buffer of those. It should be fine. Still have no robots available. <laughs> Let's be done with that for now. See, this is in total a... Oh wow, that's a hundred underground pipes. That's a lot of underground pipes. See, so yeah, this is like 500... Yeah, just over 500 entities. So I need 500 robots free in order to place one tile of this. Okay, now it's the iron we're too low on. That is because... okay, this is here now. I just need more iron miners, I guess. These are still not loading everything, though. Loading everything fast enough. Let's see if I have any inserters over here. Looks like I don't. Do we have any on me? I don't have any stack ones. Where is it? So I need... Uh, that's actually more than I need. That's good. Uh, do I have... I need a few more chests. Unless there are chests over here. I don't think there are. No. Wait, 400? Oh. Limited to 100. I guess I can set a few more of these while I'm here. This less than 200. Belt less than 1000, maybe. And split less than 100 should be okay. To pipe less than a thousand. And steam engine less than eighty. Because that's one full power plant. And offshore pumps less than, yeah, like 10. I don't really, really need many of those. Or maybe 20. Can do boilers. Less 
then 20 is one full power plant. And flamethrower less than 200. Oh, I never had a limit on that. And we'll do a locomotive less than, say, 5. Oh, not 50. 5. Not 55 either. And I don't need a whole lot of pumps, but let's do like 50 on those as well. We'll do oil refineries up to 10. Pump jacks up to 20 maybe. Camp plants up to about 100. Do tanks up to 50. I don't need a lot of them, but they're cheap. to underground pipes up to a thousand. Maybe even... yeah, one thousand is good. Some of these I can do as well. Let's do rails up to two thousand. This one is set up. This one is... Oh. Oh, I rotated that one. Okay. And these are set up already. Good. Uh, so let's see, that needs um, those and those. A few more of those even. Uh, it needs some chests. And then just a bunch of belts. Then I also need to connect those wires. And reconfigure the... Combinator for minus 48 instead. Let's split this off. Somehow. Or I guess I can actually just... Okay. Uh, just continue this all the way around. Gonna take a hit in throughput there, but that's fine. We'll just do the same kind of thing here on this side.
Oh, I really hope this should be able to consume all of this iron. Are there not enough splitters? I guess. Not, a gr not enough underground belts either. Oh yeah, and I should place that Roboport as well. It's not loading. Oh, of course. Um, let's just duplicate this onto that side. There we go. Okay, so now all this is being consumed. Should bring some more repair packs over here, I suppose. We have plenty of robots ready, so let's continue expanding this. Oh. I have no repair packs there. Let's bump it up to one thousand. Okay, so these are not going to be enough to take out the entire nest. So this blueprint should also have a connection up here. I think it was. To make it easier to find a connection there, yeah. that up. I need to actually place those pipes on there. Then I can update like so and remove again. Very good. How much more do we have here? Well, it should be enough for another cell. So we go there and now we can take this down.
it's 24. This is actually perfectly balanced already. this back to the base somehow I guess through here Let's see, we'll pull the coal down so we can take this under. And then just merge that in there. Maybe I should start using my efficiency modules now. How many do I have? 58. That is almost enough for this. At least I should make a blueprint so that I can do that later at some point. Uh, but then I need somewhere I can place a miner. Can go here, it's probably easiest. Oh, shit! That was close. <laughs> wow. Um, let's see how this goes the second time. Uh, no better this time. Uh, let's go there instead. <laughs> wow. Agreed, Nox. Agreed. I'm glad the train uh, locomotive has, what is it, a thousand hit points. Because that is a lot more hit points than I have, I, I think. <laughs> I think the player character only has like a hundred. Oh, looks like power got cut over here, yeah. <laughs> that made you jump off the sofa. <laughs> I'm glad I can provide some uh, some drama. Oh, <laughs> and then the flamethrowers wrecked this belt. Yeah. <laughs> well done, me. <laughs> well, here come the robots to repair me. At least can go pick up some of those repair packs I ordered. Deliver some of them to the outposts. So this time I was actually I'm actually glad that the uh, the locomotive keeps its destination and just continues keeps going uh, when you flip it around. I should also put more fuel in this. Uh, I should very put more <laughs> put more fuel in this. Uh, let's see. I have solid fuel somewhere. I have solid fuel there. 
So if I make a station somewhere around here... Uh, let's... Set up a... Dedicated uh, refueling thing for this. Can I place a station somewhere around here? Can place one here, I suppose. Let's just get rid of this. How did they block that? Block what? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean just the locomotive? I suppose just one locomotive doesn't have enough momentum to kill um, big biters, I suppose. This is not the coal melt. So let's just remove this. Oops. <laughs> Chunky binders, yeah. Yay, we have more fuel. Uh, I was talking about putting more repair packs in here, so let's go do that. Yeah, if I'd been caught uh, by those biters with no fuel, that would have been very unfortunate. Uh, oh wait, uh, go back again. Just rotate this, I suppose. Let's go here as well and put some repair packs in there too. Okay, now this is loading everything. That's nice. I did have a trash chest here, yeah. Let's upgrade that into a storage chest for iron, and I think I had that somewhere around here. Yeah, here. to drop a storage chest in here. There we go. Now we can go here. As soon as this leaves. Well, I guess I can just turn around. Oh yeah, those don't need to be there anymore. Now this is a storage chest, and I can set a filter there, and... I can order my robots to pick up all the items on the ground. Hmm. No wait, that's that's the wrong one. There we go. Seven iron. Very important. Uh 
Okay, so here. Those new repair packs. And this is going... Oh, right, I was also going to make a blueprint of a moduled miner. For which I really should have brought some modules, but at least I have three with me, so I can just make a blueprint of it. Use the uh, upgrade planner to replace the modules in the blueprint. Meanwhile, we have more walls here. So let's move those closer to the front. Let's also move these closer to the front. Wait, I don't actually need to deconstruct that. Okay, so there are modules, and now I can... Uh, let's see. Replace all of them with efficiency modules. And then redo this. So this time I was actually quite a lot slower on starting to use modules than I was last time, I think. Mostly because I... I have been just going a lot slower and I have been quite short on circuits. So last time I actually have had quite a lot of iron and copper, so that I could just start mass producing uh, level 1 modules quite easy, quite uh, early. This time not so much though. But yeah, there are miners with efficiency modules. See how this is doing. That should be a good enough start. And I'm still here. I want to go back to base. Did these use up all of those repair packs already? I gave them like 70. <laughs> I guess they need, they need more e still. Anyway, uh, we have 700 more robots ready, so let's move all of this. Still very low on iron. Yeah, it's just because we have... We're consuming all the iron we have, essentially. And there's not much I can do right now. I have efficient productivity modules in all of the things that are consuming iron. And that can have them. Well, not these, I suppose. But all of the ones that are consuming large volumes of iron. Yeah, okay, this is stalled because I have no red circuits, because I have no iron. Actually, that's not it, is it? Uh, no, that is not it. This is just too slow. <laughs> On the other hand, yeah, I am consuming all of the iron into green circuits, so... Hmm. Well, I just need more iron. As per usual in Factorio.
But now, we can continue conquering territory this way. Yeah, I put radars in every one of these. <laughs> well, it's nice to not have to remember to put them in all the time. And they're not very expensive either, so... Maybe I should have waited for the robots to recharge here. Anyway, most of this is coming up already. Okay, there are the pipes and there are the flames. So now it's easier to to place this down here. Preferably somewhere I don't need to pick up a lot of rocks and things. There is fine, probably. I'm not going to get all of the nest in this anyway. I will need more rope board coverage to reach all of that, though. Did I run out of... oh yeah, I ran out of flamethrowers at the front. Right, so I can't actually pick up all of the pipes here, or can I? Yeah, I can. Except not this one in particular, because that's the one that connects everything else. <laughs> Take some of this down, the interior. It's not needed anymore. So we can use those at the front instead. Let's also see if we have... we have 21 more there, so let's move those forward. Yeah, that actually is one reason to not connect to all of the flamethrowers in series, because that means I can't actually pick up the flamethrowers without cutting the oil supply. Anyway, this should be coming along any minute now. Okay, there's one flamethrower. So that's going to deal with at least these, I think. Okay, maybe not all of those, actually. Okay, there's one more firing, two more firing. Three more firing. Looks like the last thing, unless they're going to take the spawner too. Okay, they do. 
Right, so these are done. Let's put one more wave. I should call the flamer cells that spawn next to each other the Cotway's game of death. <laughs> I like that. Clever. So this Deconstruction planner actually is pretty good for deconstructing the, the interiors of these, as long as I don't include the well exteriors, should be fine. Uh, am I out of normal pipes here too? No, oh, almost out of normal pipes actually. in the hot bar actually. So let's put in that one instead. We're going to need more pipes at the front. Oh, now I have a thousand robots. Nice. Oh, and this has batteries in it. That is incorrect. Let's just get rid of those. But actually, let's see. These didn't take any, okay, F robot frames. So let's make sure that no robot frames go in there, and then deconstruct that. Maybe I should start using landmines. That makes the flamethrowers a lot more effective. Maybe it reduces the, the amount of walls I lose.
the batteries in the chest are there because one or two streams back I had a polluted belt at the frames production and were surprised how good this system sell feel. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, I had a steel on uh, both sides of this belt, so I probably just had an extra belt here or something like that. that dumped a few batteries on there or something. Okay, looks like this is about to be done. Can we reach that worm as well? Okay, this one can reach, but it doesn't have a pipe right now. Maybe I should be a bit more careful with my flamethrowers. I have many of them, but not infinitely many. Let's also bump this limit up to a thousand flamethrowers. It doesn't seem unlikely that I'll need them. Might need a more higher throughput flamethrower factory though. But yeah, right now I'm low on iron anyway. Alright, the last worm is dead. Can take all of this down. Let's see how much more stuff we have here. Let's also move this forward again. We can continue this. We can move this forward. Robots' power consumption has really risen in the last little while. But I'm still using most of my power on miners. Oh no, actually not. Wow, it's assembling machines now. Huh. Oh yeah, and very large spikes in uh, roboports when I am um, engaging the entire robot swarm, essentially. So let's see, 72 megawatts. The solid fuel is 12, right? 12 megajoules. Yeah, times 15, so that's 100. Uh, 100 plus 2 times 15, 130 megawatts. 12 times 15. No, it's 120 times plus 60, so it's 180 megawatts for one belt of solid fuel. Uh, okay, so I can actually support an entire additional power plant with this belt, assuming I actually have enough solid fuel production on the belt, which I'm not sure I do. See, so, yeah, this is going, this is not going. Ah, because I am full on petroleum, okay.
So, okay, it looks like the consumption... Well, I suppose the consumption is about 60 megawatts. Uh, which will be... It's one per second, right? Two per second. Or two seconds per. So five... Yeah, that checks out. These would be producing about five megawatts of solid fuel. And it looks like that is about the limit. So I don't think I actually have m solid fuel enough to support more than that. Which is a good reason to use more efficiency modules in miners. When I have them. So let's see, most of the robots are available now. This is going to get messy. <laughs> I hope it'll be fine. Oh, okay. Actually, it went pretty well. The issue is just getting the flamethrowers uh, constructed and and all the pipes leading to them. Okay, that actually went a lot better than I expected. So let's place the last few walls and things. Actually, I think I do want another variant of this deconstructor without the walls. So that I can just take down all the pipes and flamethrowers. I don't need those two, really. Nor those two. Okay, now I'm running low on walls. So maybe I should also have a deconstruction planner off for only walls. These aren't really doing much good here. Right, so I need to wait for a few more robots to become available. I can also take this down, actually. 16 poles, 8 robots, 600 walls, 30 flamethrowers. Okay, should have enough to build. Actually, not two cells, but at least one cell, and then we can recycle some flamethrowers and then place another cell.
Okay, so here it's actually not that critical that I get everything built all at once, because this is not close to any enemies. So let's just do that, I believe. And then just trim out some of the interior here. Looks like I've lost a few bots now. We have lost a total of 161 robots. You're running low on underground pipes as well. So let's move all of those up. Now we're actually running low on electricity. So yeah, maybe I should just build another power plant. This time though, I don't need the walkways. And I want to build it with better power poles. But let's copy this anyway. And tweak it a bit. So we get rid of the walkway. Just put the belt in there. All of these go away. Power poles. It's actually... I realized something. I can just put the power poles on the outside. Wait, except I need yeah. I think most important is that it's compact and uh, more than cheap in terms of purples. So let's spell the purples. Wait, what? Why do they end up like that? Oh, yeah, of course, because these already are now already covered. The, the inserters are already covered with power. Okay. And then I just need the same thing on the outside.
because this is equally compact as the one with pipes. But it uses more power poles, and power poles are more expensive than pipes. So actually, scratch all of this. I'll just use this again. Except without the walkway. And instead with the inserters. Let's go with that, I think. Yeah. Should I also fit in a roboport here, maybe? Because one on each side can connect to each other. See how much stuff we have here. Not enough for another cell. But if we take down this interior. Yeah, then maybe we can just build here. I do want a bit more space around though. Hello Zazu, thanks for the raid. And welcome everyone. As you may have seen in the stream title and maybe guessed from from context, this is a challenge run where I'm not walking. So for the last few hours I've been mostly just sitting around in this locomotive and just doing everything from map view. So right now we're expanding the borders like this using uh, this little repeatable flame, uh, flame turret creep blueprint that I have here. And uh, yeah, things are going pretty well. So this will give us more iron that we can use mainly for making red and green circuits at the moment. And then we're going to try to scale up to mid-game from there. Uh, let's actually just place a bunch more of these and just immediately take down the interiors. I guess this shouldn't really be a problem to build this. Uh, let's also get rid of the walls, most of them at least. But let's keep the ones that are currently the uh, the walls to the outside. What about transformers, if that is the name? Oh, you mean substations? Yeah, I guess I could use those. Uh, I haven't researched them, I, and I don't, I'm don't. i not producing them. But I could use those, except they, they are a bit more... Um, they take a bit more space. Uh, so what... Are, oh yeah, I, I was thinking about roboworts in this. It would be nice to squeeze one in in the middle, I suppose. Because, yeah, moving this apart four tiles costs less space than moving two adjacent ones apart four, four tiles, because this is longer than it, than it is wide. So it's cheaper in terms of space to split it like this. And this will have to be there in order to not interfere with the pipes. 
Then we need enough power pole to connect them. Let's put one on this side as well. That looks like a serviceable power plant blueprint. So let's pop another one of those down somewhere around here. I guess there maybe. There should be fine-ish. Because then we can get the... Uh, s Actually, we can just use this one right away. Can take most of this walkway down, I believe. I don't think I need it anymore. And then we go this way. And then we need to connect some water as well. Uh, I guess I can take that in from here, actually. One there, and one there. And everything is within co robot coverage. And yeah, that should be all. Oh, actually, let's replace this power pole with a big one. Maybe even one in the middle. Oh yeah, and then we can make it symmetrical. Symmetrical is always nice. electricity. Well that is the problem we're about to solve here, so that should be okay. Uh, let's see here, let's continue this belt up this way. And uh, we don't really need the priority on this anymore. This should still have the priority that way. Should water wells or placeable shallow water be vanilla? I don't think so. I don't... No. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary. It wouldn't hurt, I suppose. Well, it would make a lot of the like pathfinding algorithms and stuff like that a lot more complicated. Which might have an impact on performance. But yeah, I don't think it's really necessary. There's another cell there. Take down this interior. Wait, uh, let's keep this actually. For the moment. For the moment. I should probably fix this. <laughs> Maybe by just pushing out here. Yeah, these are building a new nest. I do not approve of this. Shallow water would be normal to walk on even for biters. Huh, okay. Some water by train it is, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get some of those pipes connected. Okay, 
There goes this one, okay. Okay, now we can take this interior down. Okay, we're missing a lot of flamethrowers now. But as soon as these walls and everything are built, we can take down the flamethrowers up here and move them down here. Actually, most of this can be taken down now as well. At least these. Yeah, okay, this connects the pipes now. Yeah, so we can take down all of this. This. Oh, this is in range for the worms. Okay. That's the way it's gonna be. too. Because they're just going to get destroyed anyway. Everything is prepared. No, oh, the flamethrowers are going to come from here, I suppose. No, they're not going to come at all because we don't have them. So we have to take this down. Take down some of the walls as well. Hmm. Why did they destroy those? 
pipes. Or maybe a robot was there to repair them. Yeah. Okay, here comes one flamethrower. That's not going to last very long. Let's see if we can save it. Okay. This one will at least deal with the worst of the worms. Okay, here comes that one. Okay, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> Just out of range. No flamethrowers there. Oh, there they are, okay. That's not great that they're coming in first, but okay, it's fine. This is at least going to do some damage. I should really just start mining this. Get rid of the belts and just focus on the miners for a moment. So I want to uh, I'm going to want some columns of not this one. Just this dense miner column and then alternate these on either side, I think. So, this kind of thing. And then just miners straight down there. Because this will power, yeah, all of that. And then I need the flip of that on the other side. So that is the repeating unit. out here. That is a total of almost four belts of iron. So let's see, that is 20, that is... Okay, so these two are 
slightly short of one belt. Wait, uh, this needs to go all the way. This is almost a full belt. Let's make sure this one is lane balanced. Oh, whoops. And then this is almost one belt as well. This is also almost one belt. And these are not quite one belt. So that's five belts, which you need to reduce down to four. So that is a four to four balancer. What if I make it an eight to eight? How does that even work? So if I were to take something like this, I would have to... Something like that. Something like this should be a f working 8-8 eight, eight balance, I think. <laughs> so then, if I just remove all but one of these on this side, this is no longer do doing anything. Uh, these two are the same thing as are these two, so that's not really doing anything anymore. That's not really doing anything anymore. Nor is this, nor is this. Uh, 
straighten this out a bit. Oh yeah, so this one just needs to merge into each of those four, right. So straighten that out like that, straighten that out like that. Uh, and it doesn't merge into each of those four, but okay, so let's redo that then. So this one over here will split into four and each of those will merge into one of these. So one merges in there. One merges in there. One merges in there. And one merges in there. Uh, wait, actually. Right, this needs to be on the other side. So one comes in there, one comes in there, one comes in there. And one comes in there. So this should be a fair 5 to 5 or 5 to 4 balancer. So let's make it more compact. It is complicated. That's the question. <laughs> Whatever. Now I have it, so I can just use it. Okay, there is four belts, and now we can push these to one side. Two, three, and they will do it like that. Now the question is, do I want to put these on a train? Or just use belts. I mean, I have the train station. I don't really have much more uh, capacity in here. I'll just use belts for the moment.
Okay, so let's do that here instead. How are we doing in robots now, actually? It's 47, okay. So, let's see. I'll take down the interior of the new thing that I'm building. Just save on flamethrowers primarily, but keep the ones that I already have just in case an attack comes. Uh, every robot is occupied. Let's also actually bump these two conditions up a bit to go for 5,000 robots. make that one like that instead and like let's make this one a right turn and then let's make another left turn let's flip these around because in my mind left comes before right So need some undergroundies. Not how to get these in here somehow. I 
Maybe just simply connect them into these. Start there and then figure out the rest when I can see some more. Okay, so here this one goes down there. Send the, la the last one to the other side. This is not pretty, but it doesn't need to be. There we go. That should give us a lot more iron to work with. I'm gonna need to build more iron furnaces, but I don't have space right now, so I'll just expand this some more and then build some more furnaces. And I also will want to make those into electric furnaces so that I can start using modules in them. Hello, Colonel Will. Thank you for the raid. How's everyone doing? We are here in the ultra lazy marathon permadeath world, having a pretty grand time. Um, we had some rough patches a few tens of hours ago when I was just, um, yeah, just stabilizing enough to r reach the early mid game and get into robots. But now that we have a lot of robots, I think we have like a little, oh, almost 2,000 now. Uh, we have almost 2,000 robots and we have a ever growing robot network, which means we can just do most of everything from the map view now. And we don't need to walk anymore. So things are looking pretty good. Actually, how is the evolution looking now? 82%. So we're Somewhat soon going to start seeing behemoth spiders, but it's not very soon. At least. No. Oh, I guess that finished off everything while I wasn't looking. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Sistox. Colonel Will baited you into this and then you've been stuck for months. I'm sorry to hear that. You are in good company, though. Overlord mode engage, indeed. I I like to call it Starcraft mode, but yeah. Same kind of idea. Um, this is a lot of units. It's not a problem, they are not going to have any chance of breaching the walls. But that's a lot of units. They did take out two tiles of wall. I have been considering starting to use okay, um, landmines to cut down a bit on the damage I take. That will, though, uh, mean that I'm consuming landmines instead of walls. And uh, arguably steel is more expensive than stone, so... I don't think I really see the need right now, but maybe I should start producing them so that I have them for when the uh, behemoths by their biters start showing up. Those just need steel, plates, and explosives. 
But these I probably do want to have a decent throughput of. Uh, since I will be consuming them at a somewhat steady rate uh, when the time comes. As opposed to these cliff explosives, which, which I don't really need a high throughput of. Because I already have like 200. Are these soon? Uh, there will not be artillery in this uh, game actually. Because the goal is just to launch a rocket. And uh, you see, the rocket silo takes 4,000 packs of everything to research. Um, I like to also go for the space science pack just just for the hell of it. Um, but yeah, artillery is also 8,000 science packs. So if you have artillery, then you might as well have already launched a rocket and won the game. Uh, and I'm not planning to continue this into mega base scale and like infinite science. I'm doing it mostly for the challenge of not walking on a marathon death world. Um, so yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but you, we almost definitely won't be seeing artillery or spider trons in this game, just because those are just those technologies are a lot more expensive than just reaching my goal. <laughs> so it is, it would be a, a detour to go for those, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see about this iron. It is connected, and we have... Okay, we have... We are full on iron in here. Uh, should I just... Wait. Oh yeah, because I'm splitting that on to there. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm an idiot. I've been running this on just effectively one yellow belt of iron for hours. I think we have lots of red belts, right? Yeah, we have plenty of red belts, so we can just upgrade this whole thing. Okay, that means we're new produce now producing robots at a pretty good rate as well. We are again producing science at a non-zero rate. We are producing um, efficiency modules at an okay pace as well. We are going to need more assemblers for red circuits. And I am going to need more space for those. Guess just curious about making area for building or getting it resources. Yeah, so I'll be using uh, this for that. My Burninator 9000 blueprint, which is just a bunch of, like, a roboport and a bunch of planethrowers and walls. Um, but it works surprisingly well. I can show you. Let's see. I think I want to go this direction first. Let's place one there. See, where is are the chests? Okay, the chests are there. Okay, so I'm gonna need to move a few more things up here, actually. Some power poles and walls, mostly. Let's get those walls up here. This interior. There we go, that's better. Probably don't actually need these lane balancers here anymore, but I don't think they're hurting, so... Might as well keep them. And now maybe we could use... Oh yeah, 
the steel buffers aren't full anymore, so we could use some upgrades to the steel furnace. Let's see, half is there. Wait, the this output belt doesn't actually need to be upgraded because these are well this oh there's a belt on the belt. Uh, because of these um this output is essentially like ten ten times slower than the iron, so just need to upgrade the input. See about a robe of warts. We have 51 there. Let's move those up to the front line as well. Keeping buffer just to research too. Yep, that is actually one of the conditions of my my self challenge is to not uh, essentially the uh, logistics chest or logistics system embargo achievement, uh, which essentially just means you don't get this technology or the logistics system. So yeah, no active providers, no re requesters or buffers either. But a um, the passive providers and storage chests are fine. So let's see how this is doing. Oh yeah, I need more power poles up there as well. Where are these walls going? Oh, I moved that, those chests there, okay. And yeah, the uh, the full rules are in the channel, channel description. I have actually broken one of those rules in this game, unfortunately, because uh, there was one point when I was down here, and uh, yeah, I got stuck on one of these rocks, essentially, <laughs> and I couldn't move anymore, and I didn't have a pistol in my inventory, and I didn't have any robots, and all of that. So I broke my own rule and actually mined one of those rocks. Because I didn't want to just abandon the attempt. So that was a bit unfortunate. But I re realized afterwards that I could have just placed some track nearby, uh, put a train wagon on the track, and then jumped into the wagon. Uh, so I could have actually have gotten myself out of that without breaking my rules, which is. Both comforting and a bit annoying, I guess. Comforting in that I still could have continued this attempt without breaking my own rule. Uh, annoying in that I still didn't figure that out. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you know what I mean. So how are we doing? Okay, we're doing pretty fine on solid fuel. It looks like we can actually support quite a lot of solid fuel here, actually. These are all running. How are the robots doing? Still moving walls. I think we're good on walls for a moment, or for for a while rather. 
I think I do want to move those back there as well. So these flamethrowers are a bit too close to the front line. Because they're within spitter range. But I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And I think I will put some more walls out when I... When I'm happy with the territory I've claimed. And do the same thing as here so that to make sure that the flamethrowers are out of spitter range. But until then, while I'm expanding, I'm, ju I'm just gonna keep it like this. Hello, Jumort. So yeah, now I'm essentially just waiting for this mining productivity science to finish so that I can uh, move on with researching electric furnaces. And once I have those, I can start uh, processing more of this ore and build more red circuit factories and stuff like that. Actually, maybe I should just build the red circuit factories right now. Did I put one of those in here? No. Did I duplicate? No. Okay, so this is the only one I have. Let's just take this and trim off all of the extraneous stuff. So let's see, that is the copper input, that is the iron input, and this is a different thing. That is the plastic out input, this is unrelated. This is a recycling chest, and this is the output. So that's iron input. I guess we can continue this that way. This, I think, is also... Yeah, okay, this is an output. Don't think I want a buffer on this one. I'll just take this that way. Don't want the robot there. Don't want these pipes. Don't want that pole. And these are all copper. Let's make all of this red belt. Why not? Maybe not the output, though. Uh, okay, and just this one. Okay, so that's plastic input. And now I can move this in. Does this need to be there? Uh, yes. Okay, so there's a red circuit factory. A simple one. Also not ratio optimized because these uh, productivity modules are messing it up a bit. But, uh, okay, so I have that. Uh, I can't really use it right now because I don't have the furnaces to support it. Pipes? What about pipes? I need more power poles up there, and I should probably increase this limit. Yeah, let's increase that to 200. And similarly, let's increase this one to 500. I removed the pipes, yeah, that was intentional. Because I don't need pipes for this one. Those pipes were... Uh, it's this <coughs> light oil pipe that has nothing to do with this factory here. It's only just incidental that it's running through here because this is a spaghetti factory like some somewhat planned spaghetti but still spaghetti and i like it that way uh, 
Alright, so most of the robots are done now. And this chest is all moved and done. Okay. So now let's continue this way. Oh, you meant I probably should remove him. Yes. On that note, though, please uh, don't point out mistakes and stuff like that to me, because I, I prefer to. Yeah, I prefer to just suffer from my own, from my mistakes and discover them on my own. So I appreciate wanting to help, but please don't. see here. These flamethrowers should be enough to just clean up most of this once they arrive, actually. Ah, they destroyed the radar. Rude little bugs. Uh, that one is gonna be a problem. Let's find a way to kill it. That works. Or that works, I suppose. Ah, that's why they come in, came in, because there was a spawner there. How is the module production looking now? Okay, it is coming along. <laughs> Thank you, Merle Fox. Uh, now let's see, I, I was talking about uh, electric furnaces, so let's do that one first, I suppose. Or maybe landmines, but ah, it's not that important. But yeah, maybe I should set up the um, factory for it. Uh, let's see. That is five seconds with two explosives, and explosives produce at five seconds for two. Okay, so it's just one to one. In that case, I guess I can just use this one. That will produce... Oh, four landmines in five seconds. That's probably way more than I need it already. Okay, so that's actually not going to be very difficult at all to set up. So we go there, and bring the steel down this way. I think those are made in... camp plants? Maybe? I don't actually know. I guess we'll see. No, maybe they are actually made in assemblers. And let's see, that was... One and two. Okay, so I don't need more than yellow inserters for that. And then I just need an output somewhere like there. And we set that to produce as long as we have less than 5,000 mines. And then once I have the technology, that should be all I need for that. Next one is this plus no dismantle, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not actually sure that is, like, really doable. <laughs> Could be, I suppose. I mean... Probably is doable, but uh, it doesn't sound like a lot of fun, honestly. <laughs> uh, let's take down some more of these walkways. Put these belts to better use. Now that I have transcended my feeble human body, or maybe it's maybe it's a Fondoyman probe or something. Anyway, I have transcended my feeble physical body and just transcended into 
left view instead for most of the time. Biter can, <laughs> Biters can dismantle things. <laughs> Good point. Good point. I've actually seen uh, various designs people have, have come up with in for um, automated destruction of items, uh, where many of them involve stuff like setting up a nuclear reactor next to a chest with things that you want to destroy. And uh, oh, now we're really low on flamethrowers. And then just either waiting for the biters or having some kind of gate timer or something that releases the biters to destroy the the reactor when you want the things to be destroyed. <laughs> People come up with a lot of creative things in this game. <laughs> either, I don't think. But yeah, I might need a higher throughput flamethrower factory. Or mostly just engines factory, really. I suppose I could... Oh yeah, I could move some of this and put a few more engine assemblers. It's one per two flamethrowers, I think. That's 20 seconds with five engine units. That's 10 seconds to make a one. Okay, so it's two and a half engine units assemblers to one of these. So what if we do that? Three of those. Let's just copy all of these things over here. And then we can have the same deal here. Oh. These pipes can be made a bit more neat as well. Oh, this also needs gears, yeah. There we go. Now these are working. And since I have more of those than I need there, actually, 
Uh, oh, I left my modules over here. Whoops. Okay, how do... Okay, I can just do this, actually. Like so, and move the recipe over to engines. And then rebuild those with modules in them. What is the craziest build or idea that I s that I saw excluding logic builds? I don't know. You're saying building everything at an angle must be a pain, yeah. I've seen people build uh, like uh, furnaces and stuff like that at not 90 or 45 degree angles, but like 10 degree angles, which is quite impressive. Yeah, like 30 degrees, yeah. Alright, we have a pretty good amount of territory here now. Let's see how all our resources are looking now. We have... See, Roboport, we have plenty of those. We have plenty of walls. We have just a few flamethrower turrets now, actually. But quite plenty of pipes. But maybe we can bump these up to make even more things. Let's bump that up to 10,000 pipes. And this one to... 10,000 underground pipes, whoops. 10,000. Oh, that needs another inserter. So, okay, uh, one of these is 20 flamethrowers, and I had about 40 of them. 43. I was thinking maybe I should have a buffer on these as well. For the engines. Yeah, I can just do like this. And then move this out here. And that can actually be a storage chest with a filter for engines. Filter, let's see, engine, filter, engine, and let's also put a condition here to only work when there are less than 500 engines in that chest. 500 engines is enough for 100 flamethrowers. It should be, a nah, let's say, a thousand. Why go small when you can go big? Why haven't we expanded west? Uh, because we don't have enough resources yes, yet. Uh, but that's what I'm planning to do up next. Or maybe just close this first, actually. Yeah, maybe just close this off first. So let's take down the interiors here. Don't really need to blow up all of these cliffs, actually. Uh, 
I can optimize these power poles. Almost. No, I can't actually. Because these are maximally spaced apart. Sure, there's a smarter way to do it to use less power poles, but whatever. So, how are the robots doing? Ooh, we have almost 3,000 now. And not quite all of these are working, but most of them. I guess I can use one more of these. I think I can remove this. Should be fine. <laughs> no, wait, uh, these aren't doing anything. shortage. That is the iron. Is it the same here? No. Oh, I did say item region shortage actually. Not sure what for though. How's power consumption of miners looking? Okay, pretty stable. I guess I don't actually have that many modules in them yet. And also these aren't <laughs> running full time anyway. This is mostly done. And remove most of the interiors of these. Actually all of that. Oh no, wait. Uh, not all of that. But remove all the ghosts from here. Remove all of the interiors of all of this. And most of these walls. Okay, so this should now connect these robot networks so these can stop complaining about not having enough repair packs and materials and everything. And then soon we'll connect this one too. These are all working. Cool. So maybe now I actually have enough iron and copper to 
build another red or red circuit factory. Where do we put that? And maybe here. There is space here. There's not a lot of space. But there is some space. Yeah, sure. And we can take some of this iron down here. Uh, for which I need a red splitter. There. That needs to go there. And the same deal with the copper. And then we need the plastic in there as well. going to need more plastic. And let's loop this in at the same belt, I suppose. That'll be fine. Yeah, as soon as the, these two arrive, this should start working. Well, this as well, I guess. Okay, this is connected. These interior walls aren't really needed anymore. Have I ever done this channel with, with no robots? No. And I don't think it's possible without robots. Because without robots, there's not really any way to automate the fences. And without automated defenses, you will die eventually. So I don't think it's actually possible without robots. I... I would be happy to be proven wrong, but... Yeah, that is my assessment, I suppose. Yeah, bioevolution will catch up, exactly. Like, flamethrowers are good enough against uh, big enemies, and also against behemoths, actually. Um, but, yeah, you cannot get away from taking some damage on the defenses. And as long as you're taking damage, the only ways that you, you have to keep them r standing is to either have robots repair them or have yourself repair them. And if you do it yourself, then you're just going to spend all your time keeping your defenses standing and you won't make much progress. Although, I suppose, if you if you plan, plan it out very well and actually have, have it so that you can get around everywhere by train, then maybe, maybe, just maybe. Because as soon as I got to flamethrowers, like these, what, seven thick walls, could actually stand for like an hour without n needing any d any atten attention. Um, so actually, maybe it could be possible, but definitely not easy. Do I want? No, I don't want this to have modules in it. Maybe I should place modules on these as well, but I don't think it really makes a difference as long as I also have this without modules in it. Because yeah, these... They are being, or they at least should be being evenly consumed. So these miners should be consuming as much power as these. Well. Unless these were mo modules, that is. 
Now maybe it's time to recycle some of those roboports, actually. Because I don't actually need these. Because the networks still connect through here. Same thing here, I don't actually need these either. Question now is how far do, do I want to expand? At least I want to connect this, so I guess we'll go here first. And how much stuff do we have? 35 flamethrower turrets. Yeah, I guess I just need to build more of those. See, this is currently making one every, like, uh, two divided by three times four is two thirds times four is eight thirds, so about, yeah. Right. It's 20 seconds over zero. Plus a third of that, so about six. So okay, so about like twenty-seven seconds reach. So two per minute. Oh, there are a lot of them here that I can recycle. Although I still need to can to keep this pipe connected. Let's actually oh alright, these aren't connected. Let's make sure they are. And for that I also... Oh, wait, wrong direction. For that I also need to reconnect this pipe up here. So we'll take down these turrets. And let's take it down. Oh, the crude oil pipeline is broken. Ah, because I broke it. I need to keep aware of that so I don't do that again. Okay, so there are a bunch of things I can remove here. Actually, I can remove those. As long as I also remove the underground pipes. Should leave this light oil pipe connected. And also the crude oil pipeline. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, 
Let's move forward. Oh, whoops. Yeah, this is no good. Oh, and these aren't connected to power? Huh. Why do these not connect? I thought they should. Uh, I guess uh, there were just too many power connections. Oh, it's because of this. Right. Let's just put that there. Uh, but yeah, I need another roboport out here to actually access these things again. <laughs> I left there. So let's move these chests forward. Let's wait a bit so that I can move them here when I do. Maybe with lasers it would be possible without robots? Mm, maybe, but again... The main issue is that even with lasers you'll still be taking damage on your defenses. Unless you have just so much firepower that you just uh, vaporize anything that gets even remotely close to your walls. But even then it's going to be hard to kill everything that fast that you don't take any damage at all. Because as long as you're taking non-zero damage, that damage will add up over time. I guess now is probably a good time to extend these with some spitter-proof walls. Whoops, wrong direction. Look at this robot swarm, that's beautiful. We're not even using all of them. Oh, but I've lost quite a few. <laughs> Unless... no... Yeah, I've lost quite a few robots, it seems. Ah, only 200. I thought I was close to 3,000 robots er earlier. <laughs> That's how you like to play Wall of Lasers? Yeah, I suppose. I guess with enough damage upgrades, you will get to that point eventually. But on the other hand, the damage upgrades are late game technologies, so yeah. Only 200? Well, 200 robots are actually not a lot of robots in the grand scheme of things. I think in my longest running um, normal game, which is also a, a death world marathon by the way, um, I have probably around... oh, maybe some robots are str stranded here. Okay, just a few. Oh, okay, like 200 are stranded here, actually. Uh, in my longest running game, I, I think I have close to like 15,000 robots or something like that. Okay, this is an issue. Uh, this should not be convex or concave, that's the word that I'm looking for. Um, we're going to need to fix that. So let this finish first. 
train wall sounds fun as well. Yeah. Yeah, that I can agree. <laughs> the famous train saw. I love that idea. This is a good problem to have. Maybe I don't need this buffer anymore. Probably don't need this buffer anymore. Actually. So, let's just get rid of it, I guess. Yeah, this is destroying too many robots. Okay, this is about to be finished. Maybe I should also clean this out first. have flamethrowers here, but that's maybe okay, actually. Maybe that's even good. Let's move this forward. Bot carnage, yep. Yeah, now, it's, let's see. Oh yeah, now, <laughs> okay. Now that I reconnected these roboports, I once again have three and a half thousand robots. Yeah, so it was just that some robots were stranded in an unconnected robot network. Ah, this no longer has a crude oil input either. That's fine though. Let's just reconnect this to light oil instead. A smelter set up for 150 blue belts of iron. That sounds like uh, a situation where you want to m use as many modules as possible. Modules and beacons. Because those drastically reduce the number of machines you need. So that's done. Take down the interior. I kind of feel like this binary nest right here has has a deserved its right to continue existing. <laughs> so I built this outpost here 
like 20 hours or something ago, feeling like, hmm, maybe I need to take this out first, or it will try to eat this too much. But we have been surprisingly friendly neighbors. I don't think I'm actually going to leave it, but, you know. Okay, these are now all working full time. Oh, and I'm actually running out of oil here. Still looking good on light oil though. Oh, but it is depleting. Maybe it's just that I need to fill all the pipes. That could be it. I mean, I'm also wasting quite a lot of light oil by deconstructing pipes all over the place. So maybe that's what's going on. Actually, let's look at the production tab. We have, in the last 10 minutes, produced 73,000 and consumed 1.2 thousand. Okay, so it's... Steady state consumption is nowhere near a problem. That's at least a good thing to know. Okay, so now... Do we have robots? No, not yet. I should maybe keep this here, actually. For now. So that I can build this easier. This is going to be interesting to see how this goes. No! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you were two centimeters away from placing those walls. <laughs> huh. This is not something I was expecting to see. These robots just hovering here and these spiders not caring. This game never ceases to surprise me, I guess. I accidentally made it so the uh, spitter range wall um, that I'm placing to keep this flamethrower out of spitter range. That one actually aligns with the wall of the continuation. Huh. That's very useful. One way's day game of death in action. Yep.
This is getting a bit messy, but as long as like this flamethrower arrives, the rest should be no problem here, because there's already oil in this pipe. And yeah, as soon as that one arrives, this one can arrive as well and get oil. There goes that one. And there we go. That should clean out about half of this nest, and this will clean about out almost the rest of it. Use artillery? No, I cannot. Because artillery is at the very bottom of the tech tree. Past the point of where I would have won the game already. So artillery is unfortunately not an option. Last worm as well. Actually, never mind. I'll just continue this like that. actually need that. Nor do I really need this anymore. But I could connect to this pipe for a bit of redundancy. Okay, now my robot network is mostly con convex, which means the robots don't need to fly outside of it anymore. So now let's actually... No, wait, uh... Wrong button. Copy is the one I wanted. And let's put this down somewhere like here. And we take uh, this section here, copy that over here. And remove the rest. Keep the robot just to make it easy to align it. And then this. I'm gonna rotate it actually. And then make a blueprint out of that. Center it on the robot port still. 
and no wrong one stone wall and then we have a, an outer wall for this as well Organize them like that. Don't think I really need these. So let's dump all of these into a blueprint book. Probably don't need to keep these around as much either. This one I will want to use again somewhat soon, that one too. Uh, let's see. Make one book with all the upgrade planners. keep all of them. I don't need to keep this one. Put these ones in here as well. So there we go. A bit more order. Okay, so this is done. Now I need to keep this pipe intact, but the rest of the interior can go. Then trim the interior walls. Still want to keep this, I think. As a, an extra safety precaution. But we'll remove this and this. Now we can place these extra walls here. Oh, maybe this should have an extra piece out this way as well. Yeah. Let's see. Let's update that with this. Make it symmetrical even. Oh, 
Oh, that's not symmetrical, though. Uh. So this, let's see, would go there, okay, so it'll be out to there. So oh, there we go. See if we can find a space to work on this. I guess this is the closest I'm gonna get, probably, maybe. Yeah. So There we go. I think that should be it. So now let's see. That's looking much better. Okay, now I think it's time to move these boxes over to the new reserve here. Oh, some modules we can recycle over here. How are these looking on modules? Okay. Only 230 missing now. Oh, this is no longer getting any copper. This is all being consumed here. Because we don't have enough input. Oh, because this is stuck somewhere. Let's just take this one. Oh, no path. Okay. Looks like... Yeah, that rail is broken.
Oh. Do I have signals here? No. Okay. So let's just disable these then. And disable this. And this. And this. I can go here, okay. Ah, I need to disable this as well. Okay, let's go there. Oh, and now this train is <laughs> occupying the track. able to go? No? No path. Oh. Uh, go there. Okay. Now let's see. If I disable this, I should be able to go here. Okay. So then rebuild those. And here we are. Disable all the signals free for all, yep. Uh, what about... okay. I need to put it there. Drop a few more signals here as well while I'm here. Okay, so let's see how it's going up here. We're taking damage. Build one more that way. It seemed like some movement keys to back up. Uh, maybe, but it wasn't. What I did was... Well, I did slam into the train at almost full speed. <laughs> uh, and then I tweaked my schedule or train schedule to make it stop moving so that I could re rotate it. Item ingredient shortage. Okay, this is short on pipes. I guess I need more pipe assemblers as well. Only two plates per pipe, so that's okay. Oh.
Yeah, you can rotate trains while you're in them. Or if you're in a, a lone locomotive, you can do that, like this. But if it has a wagon, then you cannot do that anymore. But yeah, that's also something I discovered not too long ago, actually. So now, let's get rid of these. Okay, this is done. Put another one of those up here as well. The problem with the robots trying to repair the pipes instead of just replacing them is that they get shot by the, the worms and then they splash onto the pipes as well. Okay, we have some oil in here now. So soon this should be ready to receive flamethrowers. Okay, there's one pipe with oil, so we just need... Okay, there we go. Why are you not firing? Huh. I've never seen that before. It had oil in it, but it just didn't fire. <laughs> yeah, now the rest of this might get a bit messy. Well, messier. I should say, I guess. Oh, we have a hundred flamethrower turrets now. This battle is lit. I suppose so. I suppose so. Flamethrowers are just going to destroy all the pipes all the time. <laughs> uh, let's try backing up and doing that again. are coming because they smell a barbecue, I suppose. Okay, let's try again. 
See if we can get if we can get uh, most of it in one go at this time. Okay, there's most of the pipes. Uh, we'll see how long they last in the flames, though. They did not last long. Again, move these flamethrowers up to the front. Wait, where are all the flamethrowers if they aren't there? I have 94 of them somewhere. Where are they? Here's a few things I could recycle, actually. Yeah, where are those flamethrowers? they might be one of those these chests yeah because uh, these are now connected to the main network yeah so they might be in here yeah there they are that explains why things are going so poorly <laughs> okay that took most, maybe even all of the robot swarm. Almost all of the robot swarm. Is this so poorly aligned? Oh, maybe it isn't. Yeah, never mind, it isn't. That's why. But I do want to replace that one wall segment that I removed now. So while we wait for those robots, let's see if there's something else we can do here. We have quite a lot of copper now. Uh, still not a lot of input though. Uh, we just need to load it faster it seems. But now that this is connected to the main robot network, that is easy to do. I think I'll just do the same thing as I did over here. Now, is this off by one? Uh, no, it isn't. Then this should work. Oh, or is that one off by one? No. Oh, maybe it's just the uh, different inserters. What is not aligning here? Why are these not aligning?
Because this is a line to the train. This is aligned to the train. Maybe if I include the station. No, this still doesn't align. Why? Okay, whatever. Uh, we'll just do like this instead. Remove all the rail stuff. And yeah, that should actually be all I need to do, I think. Gonna need to move the roboport a bit. Uh, oh wait, this isn't connected to the main robot networks. Oops. Well, just uh, have to wait until we do that. That shouldn't be far off. So, let's see how the robots are doing. Oh, they're still moving things. Let's get rid of all these ugly, empty gun turrets. Yeah, these have never fired, <laughs> these gun turrets, which is exactly what I meant, f meant for them to do. They, they are supposed to be a backup in case the biters breach the wall and get to the flamethrowers, then these would kill them. But fortunately, that never happened. Right now everything is running slowly because I don't have enough copper. Now I do have some more here though. don't have enough furnaces to support any more than that anyway. But at least there's not a bottleneck anywhere. Free ammo from military science, <laughs> I guess. are still not quite recovered. So let's give them some more work. <laughs> yes. Okay, now we're mostly recovered it seems. So now we have the turrets, the flamethrowers up here as well. So let's give this another shot. As usual, we'll delay the flamethrowers by a little bit. Okay, this is looking a lot better already. <laughs> it doesn't anymore. Yeah, it's just this one pipe. It's my hope right now. Okay, there it goes. Should get some damage from this one. 
most importantly killing a couple of the worms will do a lot of help here. Okay, that's a good enough start. Okay, some of the flamethrowers have come back here. So now I just need the pipes to connect. Which isn't exactly easy when there are these flamethrowers just wrecking the pipes all the time. Okay, we got a bit of progress there. Let's back up and let the flames die out. And then we'll try again. Looks like the robots carrying the pipes are a lot slower, for some reason. Oh, there are only seven of them there, that would be why. We're gonna need to move some more up there. Meanwhile, let's expand a bit this way. This is turning into quite a mess of pipes, isn't it? Flying outside the network again, it's no good. So let's actually cancel these two parts. Let's move a few more power poles up as well, and also some more underground pipes. This is probably fine now. 
Yeah, there's another 2,000 on the way. Uh, anything? Oh! This has no power. I guess because I removed a couple of power poles. Uh, yeah, that should connect the rest of it. I wonder where these are going. Is that an expansion party, maybe? See, there's really not a lot of iron on this on this map, is there? There's this patch here. There's nothing up this way. In terms of iron. There's copper and stone and stone and... Copper and uranium. Only this one iron. How do I have so much explored? Well, I have... what is it? 52 radars running, that's probably why. Yeah, as you, you can see on the minimap now, my radar coverage. I guess the minimap is only really covering, like, this area. A bit less. About there, maybe? Yeah, about there. But yeah, I have quite a lot of radars placed, so that's why. Well, the radars range, uh, they have two ranges. Uh, one is their, the range that they actively reveal, uh, which is what you see here on the minimap. Uh, moving around there. So, for example, it would be this radar has this active range where it gives you active vision but they also have a much larger range that uh, over time reveals times like this um, so every once in a while you get uh, like a scan of a, of a tile like this or a chunk and that range I suppose is from here all the way out to here so that range is a lot, uh, is a lot larger but it takes I think for one radar it probably takes a couple of hours to reveal all of that area. But yeah, it is quite a big scan range actually. Okay, now those are running again.
<sighs> See if these robots can get it done soon. I guess I should also re research some robot cargo capacity. Where is that? There it is, okay. 800. I'm going to take that after this one, probably. So actually, while I wait for that, let's make some blueprints for these guys. I'm gonna need to, first of all, make them, actually. I can prepare that already. Uh, so that's steel circuits, red circuits that is, and stone bricks. All of which I have around here. And I also have stone bricks up there. Can I move anything of this to somewhere more useful? I guess I don't really need this belt factory anymore. So I could move this and just rely on this one instead. Which actually has a lot higher throughput anyway. So yeah, let's remove this. And... Let's see... Yeah, we can move this one. Both of these, actually. Up to here. And then we can split this here. Get this belt out here, and now we can make electric furnaces here. Let's have that work as long as there are fewer than 200 of those in the network. And that needs steel, advanced circuits, and stone bricks. So this one, that one, can I move this power pole? I would like to move this power pole. Yeah, I can. Uh, almost. So what I can do, though, is just do this. Restructure that a bit. And then I can put the power pole in there instead. No? Did I... M oh yeah, I messed this up. There we go. Cool, so let's get that cargo size upgrade. And let's also place the recipe on this. Let's see, what's the crafting time on that? Five seconds for ten stone bricks. So probably want a fast inserter there. And yeah, that should do it, I think. Except there are no stone bricks here because this is facing the wrong way. Uh, 
Oh, that still doesn't work. So. Because it still needs to be there. Okay. So I just did all of that for no reason, really. Oh, but that works. Okay. So then I can move that power pole to there instead. And, the <coughs> and I don't need to have a power pole in the way for one of these long inserters. It doesn't actually matter mechanics-wise. What I like to keep is things physically believable. So, uh, then we can order one of those. And I also need to order a couple of modules. It's just swinging in the other direction. You mean this? I don't really mind it like phasing through the pole here. What I mean is just having it in, in the way like this. That doesn't look right to me, so I don't want to do it. Just like I don't like the look of them grabbing from inside inserter hood or um, underground hoods. It doesn't matter in any way uh, mechanics wise. But, yeah, I don't like the look of that or that. But I don't, I really don't mind this at all. Okay, here are some modules. Can take those, put them in here instead. And I... Do I want productivity modules or do I want something else? I might want efficiency modules in them. Uh, but actually, I since I'm quite low on iron on this map, I think I actually do want product productivity modules in this furnace. So let's remove all of this again. So let's bring up a spreadsheet. If I have... Let's see... Uh, Actually, I can just do this. Mm. Oh, I'll use the spreadsheet anyway. So... This spreadsheet is written for working with level 3 modules. So, let's see... There. If we take this one... Let's see. This is... Productivity plus four percent. So it's like that, and then mm. 
something there. So if I have two level level one productivity modules, I want one of them makes half an iron per second, so I want about thirty. I want 25 of them to make one full yellow belt. So if I put 13 on each side, Am I going to make a mega base? Uh, not in this game. Well, mega base as in thousands of signs per minute? No. Uh, it will be mega in terms of being quite large. Uh, but no, in this game I won't be making a mega base. Alright, now most of everything has settled down, so now we can give, do another attempt at this up here. Let's see how this goes. Looks like this should just go very easy this time. Yeah, there we go. Just need to have everything in one place and then it works a lot better. Let's do the same thing up here. See if they kill the last spawner as well. They will not. Okay. Just put another layer then. Finally done with that one. Take this back up. Take this down. Here we need a bit more rubber for the range. Yeah, this covers everything, right? Yeah. So, there. There we go.
see this. Oh, whoops. I broke the crude oil pipe. Still have plenty stored up here though, so that's fine. So let's continue working on this. And this will need about the same input as output. Uh, let's actually see, is that... It's 48. Oh yeah, these are much larger, that's why. Uh, so these don't need any coal, which is very, very nice. They do need power poles. Oh yeah, these are not even pairs, that's why this one doesn't have a purple. Okay. that in here, which is production of various things. Uh, let's place a few of these, so we can finally get some more throughput of stuff. Uh, where can I fit a copper smelter? I guess I can squeeze one in here if I remove all these turrets. Yeah, that'll work. So then we need some of this to come up here. Take some from each of those two belts, I think.
And then we'll need to figure out how to get that through to where it's needed. I guess we can just run this belt. Actually, do I want two of these? Maybe I want two of those. I cannot fit two of those there, though. So that'll be ha have to be somewhere else in that case. Well, we can just run one copper belt down here. Uh, because I am consuming quite a lot of copper here. Well, for the moment, uh, once I'm s once I'm full on robots, that's not really going to be the case anymore. And yeah, I'm not really short on copper actually, but it will be soon when I start building more red circuits, uh, which I might do here. But should I do landfill? Is another question. I don't really feel like doing landfill. I mean, it's useful. But I kind of want to just roll with the territory, or <clears throat> with the terrain, is the word, as it is. Well, apart from cliffs, I suppose, because those are a bit more annoying, I think. Anyway, we can dismantle some of this interior. Oh, this is working already. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I will want more copper down here somewhere. So let's run the copper down here somewhere. I suppose. I do have an extra space in here that I could use. Uh, but I also... Okay, I have this red circuit factory here. Can I squeeze another in there, maybe? Can squeeze another in there if I move the roboport. So let's run this copper down here. And in there somewhere. This belt is no longer needed. And we go under. We go around. And we merge in here. And this one will take priority from... Oh, from uh, the right here. Since uh, that's the only the only thing served by this. This had a couple of power poles missing, so I need to update it. Let's make the power poles neat. Or the power connections, rather. There, no. Ugh, still not neat.
That looks better. Uh, let's not build this. Sorry, robots. Okay, this is all done. Just waiting for cliff explosives to arrive. So we can dismantle the interiors. So if I build this here, does that kill this? I think it does actually. I think I'll just do that then, instead of fidgeting with the other thing. Uh, by which I mean this one. So about this, let's move this roboport to maybe here, actually not that far away, let's move it to around there, so that I can put another red circuit factory here. Let's put this on the same output belt, oh there's a bit of water there though. But it looks like we can deal with that. This just has to move there and this can go under. Well, this needs to come in like so. This needs a new power pole. And then we need iron and copper inputs. Which are here. Right, so this is the iron actually. Uh, so that needs to go there. Actually, just run this under instead because that one is cheaper. And copper goes there, and iron goes on the other one. So let's see, we can do, we can move that one to there. Split that one there, go under there, and go down. I think that should do it. How's this going? Not very well. These don't have much oil in them. 
And why is that? There's a lot of oil here. There's a lot of oil there. There's a lot of oil there. There's no pipes here. That would be why. And from up here, we don't have any oil either. Uh, because it's broken right there. Okay, now we're seeing oil up here. Good. So now these should soon be able to fire. Mostly done here, we just need to wait for this to arrive. Well, kind of. We need that and a couple of pipes, but that should be here soon. It's also time to move this forward. When this pipe arrives, this will die. And there we go. That is dead. And here come the boxes. And with that we can move this. Okay, this is producing things. Oh, this is not connected to power. So why is this not working out, but it's full? Because there's no green circuit there. Ah, because this is connected to the wrong thing. Okay. Whoops. Uh, that's not supposed to be iron. Let's just copy this actually, and then deconstruct it, and then paste it again. that one to this instead. Okay, so I could use some more of these furnaces now, already. I'm already consuming all of this. Well, all that I have right now. I still need to load this faster. It will be there quite soon with this expansion. Oh, this can take a while because all the robots are busy moving things. Should be fine though. So what else do I need to do in the near future? Start making purple signs, I suppose, is the next major milestone. So maybe I should start designing that. Uh, yeah, 
Let's just do that, I suppose. Also, I should really use productivity modules in these as well. I have plenty of them, yeah. Uh, so, prod mod. Upgrade all of them to use that. Don't really need it for these because, well, I will need it eventually, I guess. These should also use prod modules, by the way. Again, it's a shame to deconstruct these with like 80,000 products completed. But oh well. Let's do these as well while we're at it. It should pay itself back in the long run. Alright, I need to rebuild them. Uh, but actually, for now, I'm going to replace those with efficiency modules, just to keep them there as placeholders, so that I can upgrade those back into productivity modules later. I can also put these back into circulation now, because I... Wait, uh, I shouldn't do that. Uh, because I can just do most of what I need to do with uh, upgrade planners. Uh, okay, these are actually fully fed with copper now, so I don't really need another furnace, actually. Recycle some of these efficiency modules. These waves are getting quite big now. What's evolution looking like now, actually? 84. That means it's soon going to be time for behemoths. I think they start appearing at 90. Are these out of range? No? Okay. Oh, I just don't have enough robots for it. Okay, they're soon done moving everything though. <laughs> Should I build nuclear power? Let's 
Certainly don't need to right now, at least. Especially if I keep using efficiency modules in the miners. However, uh, as soon as I start using more productivity modules and beacons, I am going to need a lot more power. So maybe I should, actually. I don't really have much else to... Oh wait, I was going to design... Uh, signs. Uh, so, let's make... Oh yeah, I cannot... I can actually set the recipe right now. So, never mind. Let's just put it like this. And we need 21 of these. Uh, so, we're going to consume... Yeah, we're going to consume 30 rails per cycle, which means I need... Uh, what? 15, 7, 8. So I'm just making rails. I don't think I can use productivity modules in those. Okay, 8. Making a rail. And then I also need one productivity module per cycle, which means I need 15 assemblers for that. In that case, it's probably easiest to just do it one to one. Like that. But making them instead. This will probably. Huh. I don't think this is allowed. Let's see what happens if I build that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think th this shouldn't be allowed, I don't think. Anyway. So those are then going to consume 5 and 5. So, yeah, half a belt of each. Or the slot and it will show us a lot. Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, uh, yeah. I haven't noticed. But yeah, I think... So this has the filter for modules now. Which means robots would be going to deliver them. I don't know how that actually works out. My guess is that a robot might go there to put in the module and then not actually do it, and maybe then the filter gets removed. I'm not sure. I have seen some weird things where the um, module orders in the past. Uh, let's see, and then... One electric furnace per cycle, which needs five assemblers of that. Which needs five advanced circuits, ten steel plates, ten stone bricks. So one yellow belt of... Let's make it two halves of a red belt of steel and stone. And then one yellow belt of circuits.
And then I also need outputs for the science. So there we have the electric furnaces, and then we'll have the rails somewhere around there. Oh, and that's going to be 30 rails, actually. 30 rails per cycle. Which means I need more than... Yeah, I need... Hmm. So this doesn't actually work because I need another belt in here. Unless I do the rails on the other side. I can't do the rails on the other side. That works. So like this instead, and then that needs to be a red belt. So then that, that doesn't merge in there. I guess this instead. We'll have to go something like this. I should prepare a hot bar of red belts. This is mostly done. Frontline chests now. Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Let's wait for some of the robots to settle down and then do another final push here to connect these. That's probably good enough. Uh, okay, so this can go under like that, over like that. Let's see, one, this is two rails in half a second, so that's definitely going to need fasting servers. It's also going to need lots of everything. Let's see, that's eight, so that's more at 16 of each of those per cycle. But I don't need completely full throughput of this. I only need like seven and a half of this. So... One half of a red belt of each should be fine.
However, getting it into the assemblers is another matter though. But I guess I will just have to research some um, inserter capacity upgrades. That should fix that. But those need to be fast. This needs to have a power pole. And then this needs a recipe for electric furnaces. And those will need... Oh yeah, uh, this was the mix belt of stone and steel. And then we have the advanced circuits on the inside. Alright, I'm going to also need some power poles in here. This will work though. No wait, I don't actually need those. I don't need these either. So I think that should do it. At least it's a good enough start. I can figure out the rest of the details when I get there. Can maybe do this old trick to remember what goes where. Uh, right, I need. Yeah. I will need to figure out some more of this because I haven't done the inputs here. I don't feel like doing that now either. So let's just save this. Get rid of all that and finish these. Probably don't actually need all of that. Uh, let's just build one or two of these. One should be enough, actually. Don't actually need the inner ones there. Can just build like this instead. This is not quite connected yet. Oh yeah, and I don't want this storage chest anymore. Yeah, that's just going to interfere. Now let's make another attempt at fixing all of this. Cargo capacity upgraded. Very nice. Let's also get landmines so that I can start producing them. Build this. 
Let's see. Need to rotate this a bit. Because the station needs to be facing the other way. Not there's not there's really anything that matters there. Yeah, that doesn't actually matter at all, so never mind. So I just paste this over. There. Okay, now it is connected. Nice. And now we're having <laughs> combat here. That should be fine. This should all work out in the end, I believe. Once the oil pipes start connecting. Uh, maybe they won't though, actually, because yeah, they won't. Oops. Uh, so... Let's connect them manually like that. And like that should do it, I believe. Let's also connect this into the outpost to get the outpost running on light oil instead. So here I need to be careful with the oil, the crude oil pipeline again. But let's take most of this down. Again, not the crude oil pipeline, but the rest. Uh, this one still needs to go in there. No, it doesn't. Right. Uh, okay, landmines are done. Let's research the science pack. Let's fix these pipes as well. Like so. Ah, it worked out in the end. Good. 
So then we can also dismantle most of this, uh, if it weren't for the pipes, actually. So let's wait with that. Let's take this out one more time so that I can easily just surround this. Let's take it a few fewer at a time, though. for the outposts oil supply still. So I can remove this. Might also be time to get rid of a few more roboports. Can actually do an even more efficient pattern here. Yeah, I can remove these. And these. Put a couple of gates here. Because I might keep this uh, down here for a while while I work on this side. Speaking of, let's I guess put a couple of walls down here. Looks like we need to order a few more flamethrowers to the front. Okay, we have quite a few actually, but yeah, we can use some more. Can use a few more cliff explosives as well. Alright, and I should set the recipe for the mines.
low power up whoops I suppose it's probably the roboports yeah it's the roboports oh um did I disconnect this maybe no okay this uh, oh but this is not running ah because there's no fuel I am out of solid fuel. Yeah, because I'm using all the light oil in uh, the flamethrowers. That's basically why. I don't think I can use... Yeah, I cannot use any efficiency module or productivity modules in those. there's much I can do about that because these are all running well I could put speed modules in here and build another oil refinery to get some more solid fuel uh, I could also just build a mine here does actually cover all of it, it seems. And do I bother here with the efficiency modules? I might not actually, because this probably isn't going to be running full speed either way. Or is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Uh, so one belt of coal is 60 megawatts and I need two of those. Yeah, okay, so this is not going to be running full speed. So I won't be bothering with uh, modules in this. Alright, you can't actually remove modules with robots. Or, yeah, you can't remove modules completely. You can exchange the ones you have, but you can't remove modules completely. Was that supposed to be the one with the power pole? No. Okay. That looks like it covers all of it. And that is a grand total of slightly more than three belts.
One, two, three, four, five. But we have five of them here. And uh, well, let's see. These two are slightly more than one belt. These are also slightly more than one belt. And so are these. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do this time. Instead, I'm going to just make a four to four balancer. but with a red belt. So that way I get four red belts here. And now I can just uh, reduce them back down to, to yellow belts. And do the same kind of pusher here. And out we get three belts. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, looks like I deconstructed a few too many roboforts here, actually. Yeah, okay, I thought... Yeah, right. I uh, messed up my thinking there a bit. So let's just replace some of those. And this needs to go somewhere around here. Primarily need to get it to the power plants. Actually, maybe I should put it in up here. So not not downwards at all. Instead, this way. Just get rid of these on this side. Oh well, yeah, this actually can support up to two belts. <laughs> I just remembered. So let's just upgrade this to red. Uh, wait, but there's not actually. Okay, never mind. 
it's not enough anymore. Or, well... Wait, 47. Yeah, okay, that's one and a half yellow belts, so we can actually upgrade this a bit. But it's running slow because it's low on power. Hmm, whoops. Uh, okay, let us... How can I just... I can cut the power there. Uh, I would really like to not have a blackout. Um, okay. We're going to have a blackout. Can we very quickly make one of these? No, okay. We have a blackout. This might actually be a bit challenging to recover from. What did I do? I ran too many robots on too little power. So, let's see. Let's see if we can get some vision back. Uh, so, let's cut the power to this. No, actually, keep the power to that mine, because that's one's it's quite important. So most of these are starting up now, as are these. Okay. Was that... Wait, <laughs> we have a demand of 400 megawatts right now. And that is all the roboports, I suppose. Yeah, that is all roboports. Okay, looks like we're actually doing kind of fine. So I guess what happened is just that this coal on the belt just had a bit of time to compress a bit more, probably. Yeah, okay, now we're running out of coal on the belt again. Okay, and this is still connected to the power, actually. So that didn't actually help. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're actually doing kind of fine.
Ah, oh, the robots are flying outside the network again. Oh, now we're low again, okay. Yeah, so I just need this belt to connect, basically. And then we should be fine. I'm surrounded by a factory in a nuclear rocket fuel smelter and boiler, yeah. I've seen people do that. Oh no, there's some solid fuel coming here as well. Yeah, again, I'm fortunate that my defenses are not running on electricity. He likes the green shine at light. <laughs> at night, sorry. Yeah. Going late? Yeah, well, going early, I suppose. Welcome back, I bet the crazy. sure we always have a small bit of power at least. I'm going to make... Oh, and I need power in this. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to make a couple of these. Seven AM here, yep, that's where I am as well. a couple of those with these. Oh, <laughs> but only on that side, I suppose. That at least means we go we won't go into complete blackout as long as we have fuel on the belt. But of course as power dwindles, so will the supply of fuel on the belt, so it's not a completely foolproof solution. Let's see how the robots are doing. Still a lot of robots. Out and about, consuming power. 
but it looks like we're probably coming down at least. Yeah, okay, now we're in the green. See, I think this maybe answers the question about whether I should do uh, nuclear power. Uh, just to prevent those kinds of incidents again. Yes! <laughs> Someone's excited about nuclear power. should not have efficiency modules, but they should have power. Oh yeah, and those are not connected because they don't have one of these. So then I need to actually connect this belt to something as well. So let's see, yeah this needs actually a red belt at the beginning to actually feed it with coal. So, we'll merge, Let's see this is prioritized to the right first, yeah? So we will merge these two into one belt and send that into here. Now let's see about the coal down here, because now this one could be running... Th the coal coming in here could be going preferentially into the plastic instead of into the power plant, now that I have this supply for the power plant instead. Which means that this should still prioritize using the solid fuel, because the solid fuel is uh, an excess product from the... From the um, oil refinery, like a byproduct. So, ah. This should have an input priority from the left. Then we have one more belt that we can use. We can also continue this belt this way. We can make this one output priority to the right. those two back in there. And then finally we don't use this coal up here anymore. So this can move up there. And this can come in here. And then this should be red. Uh, yeah, all, all of this should be red actually.
Okay, and now cold is coming in. And now the robots have settled down as well. Okay, so now we're no longer spiking in power consumption. 100 megawatts power consumption on robobots. Yeah. That is actually one reason to just build a bunch of extra steam engines uh, and tanks. Just to have a bit of leeway for those spikes. Maybe I should do that. Doesn't take that much space, really. I guess I can squeeze that in here. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so I need that and that. So if I want a peak capacity of double my current capacity, I need to do something like that. That is 31. All right, these these also need power poles. That's close enough. So normally I would have, what, 160? So that's another 25% extra capacity. Yeah, that's not, not a lot really. Maybe I can put a few on the other side too. Thirty-two more, at least. Did I know a tank for storing steam is about 70% full of liquid water? You mean in real life? Or in the game? I guess in real life? Hm, I didn't know, but it doesn't surprise me really. as well. To here, maybe. In that case, oh. Let's add a tag. Let's 
Let's see if I can remember that. That trick you can store way more steam than in pure gas form, yeah. Yeah, that no, that definitely is a thing that you do with well, like fluids under pressure. Well, especially gases, I suppose. Is, oh, that is just outside of Roboford range, okay. Yeah, I think uh, like high pressure cleaners also do something like that. And uh, pressurize the water up to like way past the boiling point <laughs> to really increase the pressure. These are technically interior, I suppose. <laughs> or at least they're not facing the, the way that I need them to face. So I'm just gonna get rid of them. Right, this is looking much healthier now. In part because this tank is full now, which means I can use all of the rest of the uh, light oil for fuel. Let's see how these mines are coming. 700. <laughs> How many of those have I made in an hour? Yeah, all 700 of them. <laughs> Turns out. So 11 per minute. 11 per minute? Huh. I thought that was gonna be a bit faster. Oh yeah, but I guess, yeah, it's 75% of that. So 3 per 5 seconds. Okay. So it's 3 times 12 per minute. Which is 36 per minute. Okay, so it should be working faster than it has been. Oh, but that was uh, an aggregate over the entire hour. Okay. In the last 10 minutes, yeah, 36 per minute, okay. Almost exactly. Okay. Alright, let's see how this is going. Those have been placed.
Let's move these forward. And get another spike in power usage. So let's see, now I have 38 plus 34, so about 70 spare steam engines. So about 50% extra capacity at peak. That's nowhere near enough, probably, but at least it will help. I think a few robots run out of power here. Looks like we're out of walls near the front as well. But most of this can now be recycled. Okay, I think we can uh, reset these back to productivity modules, because we have some of those ready now. Let's do the green signs first, since those are a bit more expensive. Maybe I should have connected some of these tanks to each other. It doesn't really matter, I don't think.
So what are these low on? Is it engines? Oh yeah, it is engines. Oh, because that's low on steel. Wow. We're low on steel for the first time in a long time. Oh yeah, because steel doesn't have any power. Because, yeah, again, all the light ore was going into flame returns for a while. But yeah, now let's actually flip this priority around. Have that going into plastic instead. Since we have this coal up here to satisfy these needs. And let's take some of this, even. And put that into the furnaces. Maybe not like that. Uh, let's see. Let's do this slightly differently. Let's do it like that. Yeah, let's actually do, do it like that. And then we'll just have input priority from the right to prefer coal instead. Actually, no. We should still prefer the solid fuel to make sure that the uh, oil refinery can always run. Can I explain no walking in permadeath? Uh, there is an info panel uh, in the stream info which uh, summarizes, or actually not only summarizes but describes all the rules that I'm playing by. But no walking is ex exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you're not allowed to walk, so instead you move by riding belts like this. And uh, this time I've also, uh, I've also used trains a bit. Uh, not man not manually driving any vehicles, but riding automated trains is okay. Uh, and permadeath just means uh, if I die, then I don't respawn, I don't reload, I retry with a completely new map. So yeah, that is that. Welcome to the stream, Sunny DT. I hope you enjoy it. So now, let's see, yeah, most of the robots are home again. They're dropping something here. Oh, it's walls! Why are they leaving walls there? They should be here. Uh, let's also put some recycling chests for science here. So I can put red there. Can I put green anywhere useful? I guess I could also put green here. Put on a belt instead. Uh, 
So I can put red there. Where can I put green? Oh, I guess I can just do this actually. Put green there. It gets a bit ugly with this inserter here. I suppose I can also do this. This should also be a blue inserter, actually. <laughs> and then I can do a similar thing with blue science as well. Wait, what happened now? Oops. Uh... Okay, I need a bit more space even. Like that, and then I can put one there. And finally, let's do the same with military as well. Although here there is no space. Could do it here instead. science packs back into the system. Production science pack is done, okay. I think I'm gonna get some refined flammables. So yeah, that is my main damage source. So yeah, let's do that. Save a bit of both light oil and uh, repair packs on walls. And maybe robots as well. Oh, they take damage from the fire. In the forest, I mean. Huh. They are quite resistant to fire damage, though. Let's see if this is enough to kill it. Yeah, it is. Wow, okay. I hadn't actually realized that you could use forest fires offensively like that. These look like, like they're building a nest, aren't they? Yeah, I still can't see any more iron deposits on the map. Than this one. That is not very good. <laughs> I 
Hello, Gregorio. Gregorio. You learned that the best defense is offense, but that sounds hard to achieve in no walk. <laughs> in, in a way, yes. Funnily, in this case, it's rather that the best offense is a good defense, in a way. Because <laughs> I'm using flamethrower turrets to... Yeah, flame turret creep across the landscape here. And let's see how many robots we have already. We have a thousand of them occupied with moving these walls, which will be done soon. So once that is done, we can continue expanding this way. This really has been a slog of just like six straight hours of just <laughs> flame turret creeping. The things you do for the factory. Actually, I've been complaining about not having much iron, but I'm not actually using all of this iron yet, even. So maybe I should fix that. Uh, okay, so next thing I want to do with the iron is probably the uh, purple science. But let's first of all just build a couple of furnaces for it. I guess we can, might as well put them here. I don't need iron ore for anything else than uh, concrete anyway. And it's going to be a while before I need concrete. This one. Oh. Was that in the blueprint? Huh. Uh, so that goes there. That goes there. And this goes there, and this goes there. Now we'll need to figure out something to do with this. I guess some of it will go into making steel ice, actually. So yeah, if I take... Let's see. Just 
continue this. I follow it right up with a steel furnace. Although I don't really have a space for that right here. I do need it eventually. <laughs> and you need it for the Coverex process? Huh. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, what else though? Landfill is always good to have uh, access to. Let's just do that. And yeah, I guess I'm just going to m turn most of this iron and copper into red circuits. Probably. Some of it is steel. Oh, I'm just gonna bring up my spreadsheet. Let's see here. out again. Now let's see, this is... Oh, now I can actually put the right recipe on these. sooner or later, so let's do that. So see, this is 21 of those, and this is going to consume uh, 10 steel per second there. Thirty rails per cycle. So yeah, seven and a half of that. So fifteen steel per second there, and ten per second there. So okay, so twenty-five steel per second. If I'm gonna run that full speed. Uh, okay, so twenty-five steel per second. And how much iron? No iron there except for the circuits. And uh, one half iron times seven and a half times two. So seven and a half iron per second. Okay, so I can probably just pull most of this into making steel. Uh, should I... I guess I can just continue on the, on the other side here. I think I'll make three furnaces making steel. These three from the outer side.
So that will make like one third of a belt of steel. <laughs> and let's see where we put this. Ah, I guess here. That works for me. So then these belts will have to face the other way. Uh, let's see, the electric furnace needs steel and stone, and this needs just steel on one belt, and iron sticks on another. So probably steel on the inner belt to keep the ha throughput high. And these will be consuming, what, uh, seven and a half, fifteen steel per second, so just one Yellow belt is enough for the steel, right? Yeah. And then the stone and iron sticks are also 15 of each, so one half of a yellow belt on each. One half of a red belt, rather. So how many iron stick assemblers do I need then? If I need seven and a half per second. No, 15 per second. I need 15 per second divided by two divided by two. That's just short of four. So I can put them in between maybe. Yeah, that's better, probably. It takes a bit more space, but that should be fine. That probably means I can also use productivity modules in those. Sticks. So then I will have just iron and stone here instead. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it still fits in here. Now let's see, this is going to be 30 per second, right? Yeah, so... One, one, two, okay, so from here... This needs to go on the other side.
So that's steel. And we also need some of it to come in here. And stone on this one. Stone bricks, actually. Alright, so for stone bricks I actually need some furnaces as well. I need 10 per second, which means I don't need a lot of them. Uh, 10 per second means... Uh, Two-thirds of one smelter, which is... Uh, 16? And a bit more if I want productivity modules. Which I don't think I do because I don't have... Yeah. I probably won't ever run out of stone. And yeah, I... I have more stone than I can use, essentially. Usually, at least. Uh, so what did I say? 16. Let's just copy some of this. Uh, 16 is there. Let's put that somewhere around here. There it works, I suppose. Yeah, that works. Although, wait, where's the stone? There's the stone. Okay, so let's actually put it up here. And remove the modules. Or maybe use efficiency modules in these. That's 186 kilowatts. Yeah, that's actually more than miners even. So let's use efficiency modules in this. So there's some stone. Bricks, actually. How much stone does this need? 15 per second, right? Yeah. So... I'm gonna need more stone mines. There's one here that I can build. That's great, that means I don't need to find a way to pull a belt in from some other, other direction. Robots are settled down, so let's build this whole thing. These are bringing belts, that's okay. These are bringing flames, that's great.
What's up with these? Okay, there they go. Right, so let's continue working on this. Uh, oh, those already have all the modules? Wow. So we're going to need to expand the borders this way as well. Uh, but in the meantime, we can at least build the belts we need here. So I need one full belt of stone to come in here. And... Well, it's seven... No, wait. Yeah. Half a belt of iron. Yeah, half a belt, half a yellow belt of iron. So we can take that from here. So there's the iron. Stone bricks will come in here. under and merges with stone. And stone comes in from here, somewhere around there. That, I think, should be all I need to get this running. Well, well, actually, I need circuits here as well. Yep, I need red circuits to come in here somewhere. So, should I make a dedicated red circuit factory? Wait, do I need no yellow or green circuits here? I guess... Oh yeah, I do, actually. I need that for the modules. Those need red and green circuits. So that needs to be red and green. Okay. I don't think nuclear power is an immediate concern, so let's just move on towards... Advanced Electronics 2, or maybe actually get some stack inserter capacity bonus. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. Let's do that. Oh, now this is actually backed up on... Wow! All the sciences! Except for the green. Which are only held up because <laughs> I failed to upgrade this somehow. I think I <clears throat> must have undone it accidentally. Okay, that's cool. Then maybe I can also research some lab speed at some point. So let's see, I needed red and green circuits here, and I'm going to need five per second of each, which means I need yeah, five of these. 
things. Can I make this easily repeatable somehow? Let's see, how much is that going to consume per second? So, six of those consume 12 copper per second and four iron per second. So five of those consumes 20 iron per second and 60 copper per second. That is two red belts of copper and less than one red belt of iron. And also a whole bunch of plastic. Uh, and then I also need even more green circuits after that. Look at that, now this is running. Cool. This is also fully fed with green circuits now. So maybe I can repurpose this a bit and use this for signs as well. Yeah, there's not a lot of iron here though. Because this is... okay, that goes into a yellow belt at some point. Yeah, that's yellow. Let's make all of these red. Don't think that's actually necessary here, actually. Never mind. So that one doesn't need to be red. That one does, though. Okay, this is done. Very good. Let's dismantle the interiors of these. Yeah, now I don't really need the outpost flamethrowers anymore. They are now completely contained within this outer perimeter. Now let's move these boxes up here. Actually, before that, let's expand this way first and make this area convex as well. Let's wait for those robots to finish that task. Oh yeah, there's a power spike. Oh yeah, right, and I'm building a lot of electric furnaces now, which consume a lot of power as well. So let's see. Um, okay, so I need 10 red circuits per second if I want to run this at full speed, actually. That is quite a lot. Okay. 
because each of these is about one per second. Plastic does that consume per second? It's four per second. Which means that I can put three of these in sequence before the plastic starts being too much. It's a bit awkward here that the iron and copper are coming in from this side, but the plastic is coming in from this side. Yeah, it's still this one making all the noise. Let's go put this here instead. So that the robots don't actually build it. Uh, One, two, three. So if I put a red belt here instead, then this can carry enough plastic for all of these. And that plastic needs to come in on the inside. Like that. So this is essentially a full belt of plastic will be consumed here. And uh, about how much? 12 times 3, that is slightly more than one red belt of copper. So I'm going to need to fit a second copper line in and feed that in after about some run here. So let's get some space and merge that in. And yeah, let's build this somewhere around here maybe. So I need, like, three of these. Okay, let's put it slightly higher, so I don't interfere with this down here. And a one, and a two, and a three. Those did not align. And let's see. Now oh, they can face this way. Copper will be coming in from here anyway, probably. Yeah, copper will be coming from there. Let's say. So. Ten per second of this. 
Wait. That's 120 copper per second. If I need 10 of those per second. So how many belts can I support with this? That's... Let's get some more capacity bonus. are still working on... oh, they're working on this, okay. Maybe then we can place some more of this then. I think this should be fine. I hope the robots have enough battery to go all the way from here down to there without having to recharge in between. Because if they do need to recharge, that's gonna be quite quite a bother. Okay, looks like they will make it. I think. Yeah. Yeah, this seems to work. Now the flamethrower is burning the Roboport. <laughs> Whoops. These did not have enough battery. <laughs> so let's move this box down here. And let's hope we can get these finished off. this one comes up, then that should be enough. Is it on the way? Okay, there it is. This flamethrower is the one uh, that I need. Right here. There, kill the worm. Very good. 70% fire resistance unfortunately isn't very... doesn't really matter when you're facing down a constant stream of fire. This should kill the rest of those. Well, okay, this one kills that. And then it's just the spawners rem remaining, that should be fine. These two, and maybe the third. No, not not quite. This should give us enough space for the other flamethrowers to come in here, so that should not be an issue.
Hmm. Nothing has a range of that, it seems. Okay, this is built. That's good. Okay, we've made quite a lot of modules. Not sure I need this many speed modules at the moment. I have no other use of copper ore at all. So yeah, let's just build them right here. Uh, we'll do... 90 is 3 bats, so we can do 3 furnaces. And I can also get rid of uh, these belts. Just split some off from here. some output priority on those. And yeah, that's just three yellow belts of copper. That's not going to be enough to feed this. what it is. Let's get this output belt running south instead. See if we can get some plastic from here. These are not rolling full speed. Oh, because we're out of oil. Yeah, because we're just using all the oil, it seems. So we might need some more oil pumps soon. Let's see, is this pipe no longer connects anywhere? So let's get rid of that. Let's 
So let's see where there's more oil then. There's up here. Is there any anywhere else? I can also put speed modules in the, these. Maybe that's the first thing to do. Something I can do right now, in fact. Actually, now let's see how these conditions are set up. Because I probably want to reconfigure this to prefer making petroleum instead of solid fuel if needed or if possible. So let's see where I can place this. That works. So I'm making. Petroleum out of light oil, if I have more than 24,000. Let's flip those around to make fuel if I have more than 24,000, and petroleum if I have more than 15,000. So there, that disables this, and this instead cracks this down into petroleum. 
There we go. Now that should give me some more plastic. So yeah, now all I need in here is circuits of two different kinds. So one of which comes from here. And that will go there. And there's a lot of stuff in the way here. So let's nope out of that and go this way instead. And then green circuits will similarly come in from this side somehow. This will have to make a space like or like so, and this can go down there that way. There we go. And now I just need to make those. And I also need to get the plastic up here. And this is going to consume more plastic than I have right now. But we will figure it out. So let's see. This can go that way. Too far? Yeah, there's too far, okay. Never mind this then. in there. And this way. No, let's do it on the outside instead. Uh, let's get even more inserted capacity bonus, because that's always good. just need copper and steel in here, or copper and iron rather. 
Copper is here, and I need a bunch of belts. A little more than one red belt per each of these. So, let's just gather all of these together. together. Put that in here. And then put the other in there. And then iron. We can take some iron from here. This is again not enough iron, but at least it is it is what I have right now. So that needs to come in here. And that should get this started, I believe. In theory, at least. Like I said, it's probably not going to be nearly enough. Plastic. Oh, these are actually backed up on red, red circuits right now. So maybe I can get some of this somewhere else as well. Like, take this belt somewhere else. Uh, out here. Sure. But on the other hand... Any iron and copper and plastic that I'm not using here, I can just as well use here instead. And this can consume all the copper that this puts out. This similarly can consume all the iron that this puts out. Not into iron alone though. So maybe I should build another furnace for just pure iron. Oh, uh, wait. Yes. We can just offset that one slightly, like so. And let's actually just make all of these like this. Uh, splitter. Right, right. Just get rid of all of this nonsense. That should do nicely. And then I need to continue this. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see, that's the iron in the middle. Let's put some of it in here. Uh, wait, let's put it like that instead. And like that. Do the same thing again. Oh, wait, I actually need two belts in there. Yeah, and then all this can just be red from there on. Uh, let's just put it like that. This also needs to be red, no? No, not actually. This can actually be yellow. Right? Yeah, this can be yellow. I have it here. Red underground belt. See how that works. Uh, all right, I also need green circuits. So this kind of thing. One of those requires four iron per second and eight copper per second. So eight copper per second. So I can support about four of them on one red belt. And we'll do the same deal here. Oh yeah, 
And this also needs to do the same thing. That's going to be 4 times 2 times 2, 16. Okay, so this also needs to be a red belt at the beginning. There's more oil, that's good to know. Still no more iron in sight. None at all, really. what it is, I suppose. Looks like I'm going to need to increase this limit here. Uh, this also needs more iron. Which means it needs more power. But why are these... Okay, this doesn't actually have any fuel on it because I'm not making fuel anymore. That's why. So what if we just make this red instead? That should help. Quite a lot, actually. Oh, now we're getting wood here. There we go. That should power these without a problem. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that should power these without a problem.
All right, this is producing circuits. Uh, let's see about this one then. This needs an output. Oops. That's the red dot, but yeah. That should get these working. Albeit slowly. Yep. And this is already working. Uh, this needs red circuits and green circuits. And this output needs to go somewhere. To be more precise, it needs to go here. So let's figure out how we run that belt. Uh, maybe this power pole should move to like there. Uh, it looks like it's not critical, so I can just move that. Can get rid of this loop de loop. can even put that down here instead now, now that I don't have the walkway anymore. So then this science belt can come in here. Somehow. It's quite a, quite a distance, eh? Uh, we, there is a space in here. Let's see if we can make use of that, maybe. Or maybe through here. Yeah, that looks better. I can move this one up around like this. Almost. Doesn't quite work. So what about below? Below seems awful. What about through here? What if I use my walkway? Oh, what if I use this space? Yeah, I can use this space. And then let's go in on the bottom here and then in between these maybe
from there. Let's also make sure it's one-sided, so I can put yellow signs on the other side later. Oh. I'm sorry, but you are going to need to die. I don't think this is quite close enough to get the worm. No, not quite. So is this working yet? No, right, because I don't have enough assemblers. Oh, because there's no steel, right. Yeah, there's just no steel. Uh, do I have some extra steel over here, maybe? I do have some steel here, so maybe I can put some of that in. That is going to be messy, though. It would need to come in here somehow. I guess I can retire one of these walkways. And use that. Now let's get rid of this buffer. Actually, let's make this red right away. Uh, actually, never mind, because I don't really have enough steel production for that anyway. Uh, so, let's see. We can take this out like there. So capacity 3 is very good. Let's move on towards blue circuits. Okay, and this needs to come in here, so let's put it in from above, I think. Oh, that was too far. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Put that one under.
There will give us a bit of extra steel into this. This could do with a couple of upgrades, I suppose. And let's upgrade this to 250, or bump the limit up to 250. What's the limit on this? 200, that's probably fine. Let's see, how much is this? 78, okay, so that, yeah, that's probably fine with 200 of those. Right, we are producing red circuits, for sure. These are not doing too great, are they? Alright, let's back off from here then. Yeah, I might just need to gather a few more robots. Uh, here, I think, yeah, let's take this nest out. So that we can place some walls around here, then. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to expand much further this way right now, so let's place these walls here. Cliffs can stay. This isn't going to work, is it? Gonna, is this not going to work? So let's roll that back. Let's place a few pipes first. Let's actually get these walls placed as well. Because that will keep these pipes defended. <laughs>
now let's give this another try. Actually not yet, because I need some of these robots to recharge and settle down first. Oh, maybe after this. At least the walls helps, or help uh, to not have the flamethrower turrets destroy all the pipes. Can do this actually. Out most of this. Uh, okay, that steel that is almost connected. This still has no steel. Alright, I was talking about putting uh, speed modules into those pump jacks, like, an hour or two ago. <laughs> Let's go do that. And we will stay there forever. Or like... Until we have more than one steam engine in the inventory, which will never happen, and... Oh, okay. Whatever. Okay, now these are actually full again. Has this never been connected? Oh no, okay, there it is. <laughs> I 
Wait, they do only have two slots, right? I'm pretty sure they only have two slots. But let's go check anyway. Only two slots. Good. Okay, these are backed up because why? Oh, because something has happened to the oil supply. Uh, okay, this pipe has no oil in it. And that's because I have deleted the pipe. Fortunately, I have quite a lot of light oil saved up, so it's not a crisis over here. Oh, um, okay, so these are done with that. Let's see if we can get the last one as well. That's better.
Okay, this cannot reach that spawner. That's unfortunate. Now, let's move on to better modules. Let's pick these up. And... Yeah, I suppose just... Uh, this should be enough to finish this. Okay, some of these are up. Uh, but they don't have productivity modules, that's a shame. Let's fix that. Uh, these have productivity modules. That should match, I think. Start with the ones that aren't finished yet. I'll just do all of them. Right away, there we go. And has this made anything? Not yet. But oh, these are working. So, in theory, we have purple signs now. How far into the game is that? Forty hours. Almost forty-one hours. Not too shabby, I don't think. It's going to be difficult to scale up production from here, though, because I don't have any iron. I mean, I, I will need to go out and take this. But I need more iron than that. Mm, 
I mean, I can build uh, productivity modules and put that in every part of the production chains, but still, that only takes me so far. a few products finished. Only 600 modules missing. Like this light oil isn't connected somehow. Huh. Wait, what happened here? Why are these not connected? I guess there were spawners there, probably. That's probably why. Okay, now these are working full speed at least. It's good. Still don't have a lot of petroleum. Probably just need to make more oil refineries.
Maybe I should actually use some of these modules to... to <laughs> finish the modules I need before I start using them, uh, like consuming them into science. Doesn't actually seem like such a bad idea. Okay, in that case, that, this doesn't quite work though. Because now that assembler as well is going to move stuff into the chest. But I can do that, and I guess just store that in the library for now. And then put provider chests everywhere here. Looks like I miss those on every sec <laughs> every other one of these. I wonder which direction I should explore to find iron. Because in one sense it's best to go this way, because the further out I get the, the richer the iron um, patches will be. On the other hand I haven't explored very far this way, so maybe there are a few hiding just beyond the fog of war here. Who knows? These don't have a robot coverage. It looks like what's happening is that robots attempt to deliver these modules and then when they do they discover they can't put them in and then the item request disappears. a bit more actually but yeah I'm low on plastic so I I could put speed modules in these that will mess up the rest of the 
ratios here. But maybe that's okay. I could also just put speed modules in the rest as well. Okay, that's at least some speed modules in those. What I also can do is just build another of those. Now let's place that here since this is where I'm going to be needing the plastic. Uh, this time though I will not make any solid fuel out of this. Here, I just want to put everything into petroleum instead. So, let's get rid of all of this. And just to make a bunch of plastic instead. a bit when I built it. So yeah, I just copy this. I think is what I did, approximately. Maybe all the way up there, even. Uh, 
And then let's see about the plastic. This needs to be like so. And let's see. Don't need to split that coal anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, I do need uh, this one. See, this is make. Yeah, this is for light oil into solid fuel. I don't need that. Here everything just goes into petroleum. So let's see, like, I think I should put it here maybe? No, it's probably easier to to get water here than to get everything else somewhere else. I even have coal close by here, yeah. So maybe here. Or maybe here. So let's see how many is that. And that is going to be speed 60% extra. 24. Plus 60%, that's about 32. No, 36. Ish. That's going to consume about 36 coal per second. So this coal belt needs to be red. And these outputs also need to be red because of the speed modules. And that's going to consume the, or produce then one, two, three. Yeah, so about 36 times that, about 70 something plastic per second. So a little more than two red belts. going to upgrade a 
this to a red belt. And also water. And then the water, I guess, will need to come from over there. Module 2 is done. That is great. Let's actually work towards nuclear power. Because we are having a few issues with power. So then let's see about this plastic. See if this does anything. Whoops. Okay, we have the water. Do we have the oil? Oil. And the answer is no, I didn't connect the oil. Uh, is this still working though? These are working. Okay, looks like we're just consuming all the oil. We'll see if this, these get any oil input. Maybe these are just running dry.
Okay, it is working a little bit at least. Okay, in that case, this splitter of the plastic here can have a priority to priority on or try to prioritize to the right. We'll see if we get any plastic here. So actually, how much does this consume? 20 times 8. So 160 petroleum gas per second. One of those, or well, one of these produces 10 of those, rather. Produces 110 petroleum per second. And these Increase that to how much? Nine times twenty divided by two, so nine times ten, so another uh, another ninety. So what is that? Exactly two hundred per second. That seems familiar, actually. Yeah, that is exactly 200 petroleum per second. And eight of those. Let's see, that, that means I can support 10 of these. So, yeah, I'm gonna need way more of this hop. But okay, at least this has some plastic now. Maybe this is actually enough to feed this. Uh, so 10 per second, that's... or 10 of those, that's 20 per second, and with speed modules that makes it... Uh, what, 16, 32 per second? So that's 8 of these. Oh, that can actually almost feed all of this. Hmm. Maybe even actually all of it with the productivity modules. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so I guess let's start thinking about making some uh, nuclear power components. For which I'm going to need concrete. Iron ore, stone bricks and water. We have all of those around here. So we can just split a little off from here. We don't need a lot of it. So... Let's 
We even have a water pipe prepared and ready to go. Uh, so one of those makes one per second. I'm gonna need a lot of... Well, I only need uh, like two centrifuges, so 200 concrete there. And then I probably want four of those. So 2,000 concrete. And that's all the concrete I need, actually. So if that's if that works for like an hour, then that's actually all that I concrete I need. So I guess we can squeeze in like four of these. And those actually need to be offset a bit to make room for the pipe. Steel, gears, and advanced circuits is, I think, most of what I need. And then also a bit of copper. Steel, advanced circuits, copper. Pipes, actually. Actually, do I need... Mm, no, I don't need any, any faster servers for this. Uh, but let's see, I need steel and red circuits. I have red circuits right there. I have steel down here. I have iron there. I don't have copper here. But I have copper up here. So let's take this, maybe, yeah, let's take the steel up. See, that's steel, gear wheel, circuit, concrete, 
steel, circuit concrete, copper plate, steel, copper, steel, copper. Okay, so steel, copper is going to be one of the belts. Copper on one belt, and then I need concrete and other things on another belt. Concrete and circuits, maybe. Concrete and circuits. Yeah, those two are the only ones that need both concretes and circuits, or all, either of them even. So, concrete and circuits on one belt. We'll take those from here. So that's all I need to make centrifuges. No, oh, wait, I need gear wheels as well for those. So then I need an iron belt in here. What else needed gear wheels? Just a steam turbine. So we can make it like this. Actually, no. I Maybe. I'm thinking maybe I should buffer these gears. Though on the other hand, do I need to? Yeah, I need quite a few of them. We need quite a few of all of these, <laughs> actually. Ah, I think it'll be fine. don't think I want modules in this though, because I want it to be fast. And then let's see... That one will work as long as there are less than how many? Let's see, four of those produce four times four times four. No, wait, one, two, four times four times three, which is. 16 times 3, which is 48, 480 megawatts. Mm. 
That is yeah, probably good. 480 megawatts. And for that I need... 480 divided by this. <laughs> Let's see what that is. Uh, 480 over 5.82 83 steam engines or steam turbines and 49 heat exchangers So how many did I say? 83. And... 49. Right. No wait, 48 exactly. 48 Okay, and um, this will make gears centrifuges done. The steam turbines also need pipes, as do the heat exchangers. That's going to make pipe. That steam engine's done, and then heat exchangers need copper and steel. And heat pipes also need copper and steel only. Oh wait, it's this one. And finally reactors. Copper steel, circuit concrete. Uh, wait. Oh, this was centrifuges, not heat exchangers. Centrifuges, I think I only need like two or three. This was heat exchangers. This is going to be heat pipes. Which I might need a bunch, let's say like 200. How many th do those produce per, or how fast do those produce? One per second, that should be okay. And then we make four reactors. Uh, not 200. <laughs> I don't need quite that much power.
Or at least I hope I won't. Okay, this will make nuclear power components. So I guess we're doing nuclear power. Which means I'm going to need sulfuric acid down here. I guess I can make that up here. Because that only needs water and petroleum gas. Oh, and iron actually. But I have iron around here, so that's fine. And I do need more crude oil, it seems. Oh yeah, I uh, should also start making the better productivity modules. Ooh, but now it looks like I have more of those than I needed. So let's get rid of that again and put this back in. Oh, we're missing a couple modules still. Yeah, I need more oil. Closest ones are there and there and there. It's quite far out. I could also just mine a whole bunch of coal and liquefy it. That gives me... Oh, all three kinds of oil, actually. I remembered it being only uh, the heavy oil as a product. Okay, now I'm actually at a steady state consumption of much higher than I have. So I guess I just need to build a couple more power plants. Is this the same as this power? Or a blueprint, rather. Looks like it is, apart from a couple of power poles and belts. Yep. So, let's pop another one of these down somewhere. Like here. Yeah, I need about double what I have. So make that two of those. And again, we're low on iron here. What did I put as the limit on this? 1000. 
That's probably a bit overkill, actually. Oh, we actually have 400 already, so let's set it to 500 then. Actually, 400 is probably enough. And then I need water. Um, hmm, maybe this wasn't the brightest idea. <laughs> Should be fixed very soon though. I hope. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Shouldn't be too much of an issue then. Why didn't I get the power pole on the other side? Probably use productivity modules in those stick assemblers as well, since they are already um, a few more than I need here, really. So this means this is also a good location to build uh, the rocket silo, once I get to that. That's steel, pipe, concrete. So the only two things I don't have here yet is electric engines and processing units. Uh, the electric engines I can get from here quite easily. like I didn't put a limit on that. That's fine. Robots are good to have.
So there's electric engines prepared. Let's see how this is going. Right. Bit more power. Still low on these steam engines though. But yeah, at least now they're coming along. Oh! And here's a whole bunch of purple signs. So, let's see, that was supposed to go in here. If I can get it in a few tiles lower, it should be good. Okay, there we go. And let's set up a chest for making sure any science makes it back into circulation or onto the belt, I suppose. Right there. I should really put um, modules into these as well. That, if anything, is where, where I should have modules. Since I don't have enough input here, it's probably better to just use productivity modules here instead. This will go into science though, so let's put them here first. Since that goes into production of more productivity modules. Because, yeah, plastic really is the bottleneck right now. Maybe I should have some kind of fluid priority here as well. To make this only work. Uh, if the other one is satisfied. Only if we have more than 10,000 oil in there.
That should mean this gets more of the oil. That's actually also important for keeping the flamethrowers supplied with the light oil. So I'll replace these with efficiency modules for now, so that I can use those productivity modules here in the oil instead. There's still not nearly enough of them though. Uh, so let's also... Uh, replace these. And all of these. How many was that? Forty. Okay, that's a start at least. Could repurpose a couple of these as well, I suppose. How many was that? 260, okay, that's quite a lot. Now that should make quite, yeah, quite a dent in the power bill. <laughs> That's actually quite a lot of science, now that I think about it, to go into nuclear.
But yeah, I'm feeling like it. So let's go for it.
Right, now we actually have a few extra productivity modules. So it might be time to start making level 2 ones. Uh, how are these doing now? These are working full speed. That is great. We're actually having a bit of it pile up here. This is probably still enough. Yeah, because the uh, yeah productivity modules alone overall reduces output speed of the machine, but of course increases how much you get for each input. So yeah, these will still be enough to to eat all of that. These though, I think I can actually satisfy or support. Yeah, I, I could support 10 of them. Of the plastic uh, assemblers. Or... Um, cam plants. So let's actually remodel this a bit. Let's see. This still has power, yeah. Even if I remove this. And uh, let's just squeeze in a couple of extra plastic assemblers here. So actually, that would be normally 20 plastic per second, but with this, it'll still be about 20, actually. But either way, let's move this up a bit. Then put the plastic recycling thing there. And upgrade this to red. Yeah, this is completely dead now. So yeah, better productivity modules is something I need.
So let's just make the middle one make those. Wait, those need... Yeah, those need blue circuits, so never mind. Can't make those quite yet because I need to make blue circuits. Which I will do soon, but probably in the next session. Uh. Okay, most of this is moved. It looks like now we have quite a lot of plastic, actually. So now, yeah, now even this can start working again. That's great. So since I have a few more of those now, I will... Yeah, these are working again. Oh yeah, because they're buffered up. Okay. Let's... Uh, wait. Oh, it's the steel, okay. Let's put a few modules in there. How many more do I have? 27, 28. Okay, I can upgrade a few more of these then. Because everything downstream from the plastic um, benefits even more from uh, productivity modules, because those, like, as as you go down the production chain, the productivity bonus essentially stacks by multiplication, so it grows exponentially. Uh, the bonus, so it's. Uh, much, much better the the more steps in the production chain you can have them in. Why? Oh, they are already, okay. Actually, now that I have all this stuff here, I don't really need this huge buffer anymore. It's only going to increase lag time uh, before this other one starts up. So this is not really helpful any, any longer. I should also get rid of this pump now.
I was just about to cancel the deconstruction of those cliffs, but I guess the robots beat it, beat me to it. Should probably wait for this to finish before I start deconstructing uh, the uh, interior flamethrowers. Still not tiny percent evolution, actually. By the way, how many mines do I have? 3,000. Forest fire! Maybe increase the buffer limit for miners as well. Uh, do I need to really? I'm rarely going to build more than one mine at a time, really. And I currently have 160 and it takes uh, what? Two and a half that seconds? 2.6 seconds? Something like that? Yeah, 2.6 seconds to make one. So it takes about 500 seconds to make another 150-ish. Okay, so that's only like 10 minutes. Okay, so that's fine. Right.
So about the uranium, I guess I can just use this sulfur or sulfuric acid for the mining. But I will do a similar thing here and only pump this out to the mines. If there is more than, say, 20,000 or say 10,000 in there. To make sure that I have a sulfuric acid for this um, actually this is just making robots this is this is not critical so actually no I won't do that I'll just have it running I guess yeah I'll just have it prioritized into the miners actually These pipes should probably go s slightly farther north, so I don't risk deconstructing them accidentally. Then down somewhere around there. We can figure that out that out when the time comes. Still no more iron in sight. There's uranium processing. Let's get the uranium power as well. So that we can get that started as soon as possible. And these guys will make centrifuges, or this one will make centrifuges. And that's going to take a while, but that's okay. And yeah, that was the only one I had right there. I 
should probably be the side deconstruct instead. That's how it happened. I can deconstruct that middle pipe without deconstructing the underground pipes on the sides. Okay. So I'll need to be careful not to do that again then. First centrifuge on the way. Oh, I misaligned these. This oil is actually pretty close now. Unfortunate that the uh, biter nests are getting bigger and bigger the farther out I go. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just liquefy coal. Alright, this one's fully fed, except for iron. There is plenty of iron input though, but yeah, most of it are just going into the, or is just going into the mall, I suppose. And making yeah, pipes primarily, it seems. Pipes and engines. Oh, right. I have two of those. Making flamethrowers, so I need to set the uh, limit on both of them. Yeah, these are all being fully consumed, except for the ones that aren't going into steel. So I guess I should just make more steel furnaces.
So one more steel furnace there. Merge that in there. And bring this down this way. Yeah, and I should also have a priority on this one to the right. Well, all the iron ore is being consumed though, so that's a good thing I suppose. Yeah, maybe I didn't actually need this. I guess we will see. Oh, now I can start mining this. Probably don't actually even need all the miners. Uh, what is it? I need one centrifuge per reactor, so like four centrifuges. Uh, right. That means I actually need a few more of those. So four centrifuges, they will consume ten uranium ore in twelve seconds. So ten uranium ore in three seconds. So three point three uranium ore per second. Means I only need uh what is it? Mining speed. Like six of those uh, miners. This should be more than enough then. is here. And then we need the centrifuges somewhere. I think it's actually about time to end this session. 
and we'll see how the nuclear power goes next time. Well, nuclear power is going to be a while before I get it started, but at least nuclear uranium processing for starters. And yeah, then we'll see what to do about all this resource shortage. Maybe I'll just go out here and take this iron ore. That's not even a not even the same size as this, unfortunately. So it's only going to just barely double my iron um, production. Not even that, because I still have this as well. Uh, but yeah, then we can hopefully start making some blue circuits as well, and some better productivity modules. And uh, then just continue scaling into mid to end game actually i'm actually pretty well into the mid game now and yeah moving towards the end game with the purple and yellow sciences but anyway uh, i'm going to end this session here as always thanks everyone for watching thank you colonel will for the raid and thank you everyone for sticking around and uh, chatting and having a good time and, uh, yeah. Until next time, you all have a good one, and I will see you then.